doing here? All right, we're live on full on full definition. I guess that's what it's called. I guess we're I guess we're sitting here in HD. Dom is diligently trying to find his headphones. No, I know exactly where they are. They're downstairs, so I'm getting my wife to bring them up. <laughs> you left the poppycockers. You can admit it freely. The poppycock and went going on, and that's where you left your headphones. We are we are not gonna we are not gonna say anything. Dom, we got the draft coming up in uh, like two and a half weeks. Yeah, two, about two, it'll probably it'll probably be like what? It's two weeks from Thursday. Yeah, it's Thursday, right? It's Thursday, right? And we've got the uh, our one and only draft show a week on Sunday with lots of special guests. A lots of special guests. And if you want to be a special guest on the draft show, all you need to do is email me at Tim at onlinebigblue.com. Again, that's email me at Tim at onlinebigblue.com. And you will, can be added to the roster of the special guests at the draft show. Because we're going to talk the draft. We're going to talk. You know, Dom, I want to talk about a couple of things today. I want to talk about some stuff here. I want to talk about the um, the the ability for people to rationalize certain picks, the ability for people to all of a sudden say Trayvon Walker is going to go number one overall, <laughs> the 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 overall rationalization of these things. I mean, it's it's one of those things you just kind of laugh. It's like I, this guy. I mean, and, and I'm not bashing Walker. But I'm just trying to figure out this guy was never slated anywhere near the bottom, near the top. He, he was never good morning, says Big Blue Forever. Well, good morning. I don't I don't know what time zone you're in, but good morning to you. This guy was never be somewhere in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, right? I, I, I'm assuming so, but this guy was never picked up to be in the now Trayvon I think, Walker or uh, Big Blue Forever. Just big, Trayvon Walker. <laughs> This guy was never slated to go number one. He was never slated to go this high. He had a good combine. They are. They saw his immeasurables. They saw the things that he did and he, that he did well and his athletic ability. But at no point in time did it did it ever show anywhere, any place else that he was going to come in here and be the first overall pick. No. And now, and now you see people like, wow, well, yeah, he's he's going, he's going number one. He, he could potentially beat out Hutchinson and Thibodeau and Stingley and Hamilton and Neal and Lloyd and Icky and Gardner. <laughs> He's going to go number one. I mean, I think it would be a surprise <laughs> for us all, right? I mean, uh, I mean, look, you, you've seen during this draft lots of different people slip into number one. Sometimes it's because an analyst who's doing a draft is, is doing it to make a stir. Because, oh, look. And different name at number one, and suddenly everyone's talking about their draft, not anyone else's. Or, or they're doing something different. Go, if this were to happen, what does this do later on down in the uh, draft? I'm uh, big blue forever. I'm on, so no one else is here. Uh, that's that's where. It was. <laughs> um, so there's no questions. There's there's no people. There's there's 15 people because Dom is here. Yeah. 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 Monday we had a hundred and some people. Now we have Dom here, and we have 12. <laughs> It is four o'clock on a Tuesday, but um, <laughs> your point stands. Um, but Duly I, I, noted. Um, but uh, you know, back back to your your point about Trayvon Walker. You, you, you're going to get players go up and down, and I think you know if Neil were to go back in a flavor of month for number one, Thibodeau was to go in a flavor of month for number one, Hamilton has been in and around. I don't I don't recall him seeing him at number one very often. You kind of get it. This guy has come from nowhere, and you'd have to question what he has done to be number one. And the only position I ever really see doing this uh, over time is the quarterback because of how vital a quarterback is to a, a, to, a to a team. Um, you know, so I'm not quite sure where he's he, he, his stock's rising from and what he's done to do it. I'm not saying he's a bad player, I'm not saying he won't, but I don't understand why all of a sudden he's gone shooting up draft boards. I don't even still have, I was checking my list. I don't even have him in my top 31. Nice. I don't even have the top three. Joseph Clark says two weeks and more until the draft. I'm so ready, but I don't even have in my top. I don't even have now. The good news is for giant fans. This would be the good news. If Jacksonville went crazy and sometimes you go crazy from the heat. If they, I, I thought they did go crazy. Have you seen, seen the draft, uh, the wide receiver they paid? <laughs> yeah, they, they, they let shark go and, and then they paid, paid the kid from Arizona all that money. Yeah. But well, they have to, cause they also have to spend the cap. If you go, wow. you if you go crazy, and they and they pull and and they get go for Trayvon Walker, that pushes everyone down. That probably pushes that that would probably push uh, that would probably put Hutchinson down to second. I, I mean, I think if they if I I honestly think if they would do that, I I think Detroit 
would take Aiden Hutchinson. Oh, 100%. He's local lad as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So, I, think, yeah. I think they would jump on that. I, I mean, the pick, the, it would be Detroit Lions are on, and before you can even get to the end of a sentence, they're out there going, me, me. <laughs> it would be the Josh Allen, Daniel Jones draft. Not Josh Allen, the quarterback. Josh Allen, the uh, defensive end from Kentucky and slash linebacker. When Coughlin, basically, the Giants, and the Giants select, what, the sixth overall pick? Daniel Jones, quarterback. Duke and Tom Coughlin before they finished, Duke, he, they were, he was handing them this card. <laughs> like, oh, we 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 now have the pick in for the Jackson Wills Jaguars. It's Josh Allen, linebacker, Kentucky. I, I'm, not, and, not, not even not even trying to build up the suspense. <laughs> not not even to yes we yes yes we are talking about Trayvon Walker. Yes we are. Uh, Big Blue bringing to KT for a visit. Let's go. We're going to have a lot of top 30 guys come in. And, I, and I'm very excited about Kayvon Thibodeau as well. But I, I just don't get it. I just don't understand. There must be some measurable that we don't know about. That 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 that, that neither the media or or anyone uh, anyone is talking about. Maybe maybe he's Superman. I mean, I've heard talk about his character and his, uh, and his athletic ability and his traits. But, I mean, you know... <sighs> I I I I I am hearing this talk like, like you say about him number one. I just don't understand why why that's a change from from four or six weeks ago. Four to six you weeks. Know. He is he is jetted up from a low first round, early second round pick to potentially moving to the top. And that's like Trevor Penning also out of Northern Iowa, the the big uh, the big offensive tackle, six seven, three hundred twenty one pounds. Same thing. He all of a sudden is is, is jotted up the draft boards as well. Why? You know. Exactly. He, he, exactly that. He's a. He's. I mean, I, I haven't done my my board yet. I was uh, planning on doing it. On so the you got two weeks to get the board done. Well, exactly. Exactly. We plenty of time. But I mean, I, I I would imagine I have Walker somewhere around twenty. Uh, I would imagine I've got Penning twenty to twenty five. I would have thought. I mean, these. You know, don't quote me. But I'd have thought that's roughly where. I'd have, and it, but it wouldn't shock. I mean, it would shock me if they both fell to the second round the way they they come up now. But it wouldn't have many weeks ago shocked me to see them drop to the very late you know sort of 28 29 you know even dropping just into the second round I wouldn't have expected it but it wouldn't wouldn't have shocked me uh, and uh, you know I think let's say that Penning is the 15th best player on the board and he goes 10 because whoever's picking 10 wants a tackle and he's the best tackle left you know I could see things like that happening I think generally I think you should follow a best player available you know, strategy, but sometimes you're just re- desperate for that player when you, you've got him there and you're thinking, I'd take him, you know, even if it's a slight reach. But but I, I don't get how they're getting so high up the board, if I'm honest. I, I don't know. And I, I, I don't think it's, what is, what is it's this silly part? season, though, right? It's silly, and I've said it a million times. It's a silly season. If Thibodeau is there at five, I really think they need to take him. It is so hard to get an elite pass rusher who you usually have to get them early. And that's what I'm saying. If Trayvon Walker does something stupid you you could potentially be seeing Thibodeau sitting there at five there's still a potential for him to be sitting there at five either way and I think and I think that is the uh, I think that's the interesting part all I know is if they do if they go with Walker and then the Lions go with Aiden Hutchinson uh, Mr. Hayden, Aiden Hutchinson yep and then there's not a team unless there's a trade that needs a quarterback. Malik Willis. He falls into the Giants' lap. Falls into it. Falls into the Giants' lap. You know. You knew that was coming. I, 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 I you know, I, I don't think it's going to happen, but uh, I, I know how happy it would make you if it did. I would be doing my dance. <laughs> Evan, Evan, Evan Lloyd, and excuse me, Evan Neal and Devin Lloyd would be inspirational. I would, I, I mean, I don't have a problem with that, with Neal. I don't have, I don't have a problem. With, I, everyone knows I love Lloyd. I mean, I, I'm a huge Lloyd fan. He fits the Wink system. We've talked about this ad nauseum. He fits the system. He's this. He's the athletic, speedy coverage linebacker who can blitz that you need that you need to have when you're running Wink's attacking system. I love that someone on Saturday Sunday said, "Well, Wink doesn't need pass rushers." He went out and got Kalis Campbell. He went out and they went out and traded for Yannick Ngagwe. What's his name? Juden was it Juden that was there as well. Yeah, Matt, Matt Judon before he went to the Pats last they, year. They had a ton of pass rushers. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. what you need in the system. 
he doesn't necessarily go out for your boasters or what have you. He doesn't necessarily go out for your top elite, you know, best line, uh, you know, edge rusher on the market. But he does go up, up after very, very good uh, edge rushers. Uh, Yannick Ngagwe um, was the best pass what? rusher on the market that year. Well, possibly, but you, you know what I mean. He's not going to go and trade out for your. Absolute they actually traded him. They actually traded for him. But you know what? They traded for Kalis Campbell. Oh, uh, but but uh, uh, you know. Yeah, but, 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 yeah. but uh, I mean, it, it, you know, uh, unique. Uh, it, it has 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 elite traits. I sometimes question his consistency. But you know, he, he, he Kalis Campbell is is by no means a bad bad pass rusher, nor nor is Judon. But what I mean is, you're not. If you named your top five pass rushers in the league, they're not necessarily there, but they are probably in your top 10, 15. If I named the top pass, if they named the top pass rushers in the league that year, I would have named Juden and Yannick Ngagwe. Oh, well, you're just being mean now. But, you, you know, but either way, but the point still stands that I, I can't be asked to argue with it because you're actually right. But that's annoying. Yeah, I know. That's um, why I just, yeah. <laughs> I just keep, you're like, but, you're like my kid. But, but the, I'm but wrong, the, but I'm going to keep arguing with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the point the point stands over, you know, no defense is going to turn around and not take, um, you know, good edge rushes if they're if they're available. And he's gotten a very aggressive offense, and he's going, you know, he's going to want to get them. But I think the other thing with Devin Lloyd is you look at the way we get killed in in, in that area. You know, it's clear that we need to upgrade the linebackers to stop getting getting killed with those with those short throws. And you know, that give up third downs every single time. And I know that was most people would say safety but... could do the same thing. Safety could do the same thing, but again, it helps. You've got the double. You've got, but Lloyd gives you the double, but he gives you the attacking edge, and he gives you some protection. You know, um, if you wanted to drop him in there, I think he he is a, a do it all linebacker. You know, and I, I think you know it is a position where I think we have significant weaknesses. Not the only one, but you know, significant weaknesses, and that's why I'm such a big fan of of of, of Devin Lloyd. Well. <laughs> Besides the stuttering <laughs> and the blah blah blah, yeah. that was, that was a good. Point. Uh, Stu says I'm I got happy. there in the end. I got there in the end. You got there in the end. I'm happy with Thibodeau and Nikki. Many are predicting sauce at seven. I can't do sauce at seven. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't do it with a guy that's way too handsy. I can't do it with a guy who who who's going to come in with this. Who's already coming? Who's got a little, got a little bit of an attitude already? But I'm, I, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't go through the Eli Apple. Everything that I see with this kid says to me, Eli Apple. Hey, here's where I'm at with, with Gardner. I th- I not not wouldn't be shocked to see him go as a first corner. Uh, oh, no, I think I think he'll go over Stingley because of injuries. Because of the injuries, I, but I, I don't think Stingley he's a better player. A high, I think Stingley has a much higher upside, and much more talent, and will be a better player if he stays yeah. healthy. Yes, and I don't mind his attitude overly. What would concern me about his attitude, particularly in New York, would be that he's like. I'm the all singing, all dancing guy at college that's never given up a touchdown in pass coverage on my side or whatever it is. The concern would be that he just thinks he, he you know, he can go and do that straight off the back in the NFL, you know, uh, and then finds it a struggle and then doesn't know what to do if he, he struggles and or, and I'm not saying he's going to be, he's not going to work, but he just relies on that talent and thinks it's going to be okay. And, and, and they concern me, coupled with, as you say, the the, the hand issues because you're going to get penalised for it, you know. Yeah. Um, and you're going to give away daft yardage. Dominic says, "I think the Jets are going Tibbs at four. Uh, you know, I I still have a I still have a Kyle Hamilton feel for the Jets. I still have that Kyle Hamilton feel. I mean, the Jets. Nothing would surprise me. I mean, I don't think they're taking a wide receiver there. Um, if, if, I, if if they went with like Dobson. Dodson, I mean Dodson out of Penn State, I would be surprised by that. I mean, I I also had them taking a corner, but I think, like you say, they're going secondary. A safety wouldn't surprise they're going me either. Uh, they're going secondary. You know, Donovan uh, wants that's to know where they're going. Could people just be looking for clicks and likes? No, this is coming out from scouts. This is coming out from people in Jacksonville. I mean, this isn't coming out from uh, from YouTubers. This is coming out from like Jacksonville people. So, I mean, I, th- I think that's uh, – I don't think they're doing – I mean, of course, they always could be looking for clicks and likes. Of course, they I mean, can. Because uh, that leads into my next segment, click and like. <laughs> but, I mean, some of the draft analysts also do it for clicks and likes. So, the people are talking about them because their draft is different. Possibly it's that. But but he's certainly – but a lot of chatter, a lot of chatter about uh, Walker going up, not just in the odd – Yeah, not not just in – Mark Hernandez says, 
79-30. Offensive tackle at five. Edge rusher at seven. Let's go, G-Men. You know what I found today? And this is G-Men related. And I'm gonna I'm gonna break it out on Sunday. Oh wait, no stream on Sunday because it's Easter. So there's no stream on Sunday. But I'm gonna break it out on the next stream. I found these giant mugs uh from this the early 60s. I thought you were going to say you found how to work your sat nav with your no, lovely figured. English voice. I have, I, have not, I have not figured. I have not figured. But I found these mugs that are from the from the 1960s, and, and they're giant mugs, and and they're they're just they're just awesome. I'm going to break those out on the whenever we come back. It's a uh, smash. It, it, but... Every 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 mug is giant to me because I'm so small. It looks massive. That's true. Uh, Grant Anderson says, "Go Yankees!" And the Giants should not be in MetLife. <laughs> Just throwing that out for you, Grant, man. I'm just helping. I'm getting you ahead of time, bro. Just getting ahead of time. save you typing it out. LJ is in the house. LJ says, what's, 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 what's up, fellas? What's up, room? Hey, LJ. He's doing it and doing it and doing it well. He represents Queen. She was raised out of Brooklyn. Uh, what he's do we got doing, over doing it for the masses. He's, he's doing, doing it for the masses. Would take Johnson over Walker. Hi, guys. I, what I, You know, and this other thing with Johnson. What's going on with Johnson as well? That's that's another guy that I just don't get. And you know who you know who we don't hear about, who was supposed to be the end all be all, the love affair of Giant fans, the, the kid out of Purdue. What's his name? George uh, uh, Javo uh, or Kalaftis? Yeah, George, whatever. <laughs> George Kalaftis. George Kalaftis. We'll call him Curious George because I don't know what's going on with Curious George because he they ain't around. Everything about him. He 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 had a good rookie rookie good freshman year and it's dropped exponentially statistically ever since then. I heard a couple of people talking relatively positive about him, saying that he's a bit of a bit a bit of a sleeper the other day actually. But he was but supposed I mean, to be in the top ten. Well, he, he, well, he was supposed he was supposed to be a top five pick at one point. You know when it was you know the edge rush. You know people. I remember someone and I you know this is this is repeating what someone said and I can't remember who it was now. It was so long ago saying. He's 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 better than Tibbs. He's better than Tibbs. Like, really? Um, I mean, <laughs> no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't you. I mean, it, I can't remember who it was. It was saying that he's better than Tibbs. All right, I'm not sure that's true, but but you know, he, he is going quietly in there. But Johnson, here you go. I, I had him late first, early second. We will not go quietly late. into the night. We will not go out without a fight. We will go on. Jolly good. Oh, that was actually from Independence Day. <laughs> that was from Independence Day. I'm trying to find my list. I still have not found my big board list. I've, I've, my, got, I've, I've got it. I have, Jermaine, I have Jermaine Johnson. I love this. I still have him ranked 41st on my board. I moved him up from 53 because I did a 53-man board, but I still have him 41st on the board. I, I, have, I have your original board here somewhere. There we go. He, on the original board, he was 51. No, not on the corner to the one you sent me, but that's because you put uh, someone on twice. Oh yeah, yeah. Jermaine Johnson at fifty on on the one you sent me. Yeah, I have. I've been moving. I've moved. You don't have the updated board. You have no, no. no I don't know. I have your. You don't have the updated board. board. You don't have the updated board. But LJ says Stingley is technically better while going up against better competition. He was a guard. Uh, he was guarding Chase and Jefferson in practice. In practice, you're talking about practice, man. You're talking about practice. The man has a point. Alan Iverson, though. Uh, I agree, but practice doesn't mean anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's going to help you get better, though, right? Wait, no. No, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Anyone's Daniel Jones lover, just jump off for the next three minutes. <laughs> just jump off for the next three minutes. I'm on Twitter. Oh, dear. The antithesis of evil. <laughs> I am on Twitter. And they people are posting pictures of Daniel Jones in his T-shirt and shorts. Moving I around, when, I moving when around when throwing the ball, and he's they're like, working his, He's been working on his pocket presence. Well, duh, and they look, at, they look at it and go, They look at it and go, Whoa, he looks great. And then I remind, of course, being the asshole that I am, I reminded them and I said, Um, remember last year when he was doing the cone drills, and everyone said, Wow, look at the pocket presence he's developing. How the hell did that work out for you? I mean, it went marvelously well. Good more. He, and I said this, and I said this on Twitter. Daniel Jones is and will be a Hall of Famer in shorts because I, I mean, he, he, everything. And then someone pointed out to me, remember when he gained weight? Yeah, he gained weight two two years in a row. This massive, 
muscular weight gain. And I love it because I, I always defer people to Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers is not what I would call a muscular guy. Tom Brady's not that either, to be honest. Tom Brady's cut. He, he's getting to that eugenics things and all that stuff he does, whatever the hell it's called. So he's, he's, he keeps himself in great shape. He keeps really. himself in great shape. But you got to look at these other guys. And I can't, I, I still to this day, I'm trying to think of who the buff quarterback was. Who's the big buff quarterback? I mean, I mean they're just big, but Allen and Herbert, but I don't necessarily make. But they're not like, but they're, they're not, not, they're not like they're, Superman. Yeah, they're not like. Oh my God, he's so cut. What do I get? I don't know. You get nothing. You lose. I will give you that. Sexy misses online, big one. All right, here we go. Dominic Dominic says Kyle Hamlet at four is a total. Jet. It is a total jet move. The only person to take a te- center, excuse me, say, take a safety in the top ten in the last eleven years was the Jets, <laughs> and that was, of course, uh, uh, Jamal Adams. Very good. Dom's getting good today. I nearly. I always want to call him Jalen Ramsey, though. I. He's we, not a, we, he's right. not a safety. Of me. No, I know, but I always get those two in my mind mixed up which is why i paused i was like which one is it pilot dev says uh that's my plumber <laughs> Ty, 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 so tyron walker hype all smoke if we take an edge at seven i hope it's not him i don't think he's i i i think Ty, i think he's got trayvon walker's gonna be like one of these guys that's gonna fall down to like 15 or 20 and it's all just hype it's all people talking about stuff at the moment and yeah. or a couple of teams, potentially as pilot dev. And I, I meant to mention this earlier. I think there's a point. A couple of teams might just be sort of putting smoke out there to try and hide their intentions. Right. Exactly. How's it, Cream? So how's it going, Dom? How's it going, Tim? And the big blue chat. We're doing well. Doing well. I'll, I'll try and stay awake today. I've, I've, been, I've been back into the office uh, and the old two-hour commute today. Oh, God. Tried. Stop the whining. So, I mean, you want some cheese with that? What are you doing? Come on. What do you want to no, know? It's more like I'm doing away. I'm doing away. This is violin I'm playing for you, Dom. This is violin. I know. Play. And to be fair, that looks full size. Should we take a safety in the second round? I'm saying McDuffie. McDuffie the second round. You're a big fan of him, right? I am you, a big fan of him because he can play safety. I think and his you, you, size you know is, safety. I think his size is going to limit him a little bit. He he sits there at 5'11. 195 pounds. I think he could bulk up a little bit. I think he could be that verse. He could be that versatile player that uh, Julian Love is. But Julian Love, most people don't remember. And I keep bringing this up. Got benched last year. He got benched and didn't come back until there was injuries. And then he played in the slot. So we need. So a lot of people that are 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 penciling Julian Love into the safety room because we have no safeties. Or no, or no tight ends. But people are penciling him into the safety room. Have to remember, like I said, he got benched last year. So I mean, he got benched by an incompetent coach, but um, Patrick Graham was incompetent. Well, it depends on whether not not Graham. I was referring to Judge, but yes, but he didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, he he's not the defense coordinator. Te- yeah, technically, but you don't know whether he was asked or uh, told to or not. Yeah, I'm not saying that was a reason, but uh, listen, I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and defend Joe Judge, <laughs> but I, I I don't think he had. I don't think he had Julian Love benched. He says here, let's see. You never know. He might have said something nasty to him, and he made him cry, and that was the end of it. El Foul Player says, if Malik is there at five and it gets seven, would this be a success in the first round? This would be a home run. You you had him at, at Malik. <laughs> you, had, you had me at Malik. You had me at Malik. Jeremy. I think there's a whole range of potential com- combinations that you could say is a, a success on the night. Obviously, we don't know until they start playing. But, you know, with the amount of holes he's got and picking so high, you shouldn't be missing at five and seven. No, you shouldn't. Uh, hold on. I guess you have my plumber has to say. <laughs> this, is, this, this, this makes for great coverage. Hey, wait, wait, hold on. What is he saying? Hey, Tim. This is Dale. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm going to just cover off the uh, well you do that I'll cover off the uh, Malik Icky I think you know a combination you know what let me uh, let me call let me call this guy back real quick (laughs) (laughs) Dom hang over for a minute oh dear lord how do I turn him off yeah that's done it I'm going to turn off my camera too hold on hold on I'll be right back 
What a treat. Can you still hear me? What... Yes, we can still hear you. I'm assuming he's gone. Uh, I mean, to your to your point, like on 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 Malik and Nicky, I think as a combo, I think you know there, there's some sense of that. You've got your bookend tackles. I mean, I'm I'm 100% not against taking a tackle to give your your bookends, and then Thomas and Nicky can fight it out for right and left. But you've got your bookends, you know, and, and you've then got a, a decent enough uh, offensive line, you know, with the the other players we've drafted in, I don't think that not drafted in, brought in on free agency. I don't think they're necessarily well beaten on the interior, but it, it's it's certainly an upgrade on last year with the with the bookend tackles. You're giving Malik a chance whether you start him or whether you start with Tyrod and then bring Malik in for meaningful snaps in games and or switching out towards the end of the year, depending on how he's progressing. But you're giving them a chance. You've got your bookend tackles, and I think that's important in this league. The other the downside of doing so, of course, is that you're neglecting a potential top edge rusher and or linebacker to help the defence, um, you know, but I think you could probably look to not necessarily the edge, but to the same extent, but you could probably find a, a decent enough linebacker in, 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 in the second round uh, that could come in and, and cover for that. So I, I don't think at all that that is, uh, that would be an unsuccessful draft uh, LFL player, um, which by the way is a very cool name um, like that. So I, I, I would be, I'd be perfectly happy with that. I don't think it will happen but I think I'd be perfectly happy with that. And uh, the man, the legend uh, that is Tim, who's talking to his plumber, I uh, would be cock a I think. Seeing seeing Willis drafted would be worth tuning in for on draft night at, uh, alone just to watch his reaction. Oh, dear me. Uh, I'm going to quickly skip on Thunder 404 and, and uh, see what Tim has to say on that one. But uh, Damien, you've said, when is Malik Day? I'm assuming you're referring to the draft day, which is the 28th. But of course, if you're referring to uh, whether the Giants are bringing him in, they have reportedly, as as Tim mentioned last week, um, uh, brought him in for secret talks behind. So if you're looking to draft him, I think it's I think it's the 28th if that's the Thursday. Um, uh, but I don't know if they're planning on bringing Malik in again. But they've certainly brought him in uh, or reportedly brought him in. Uh, there we go. Uh, Jay, thanks. You're the 17th like. Thank you very much. Uh, and James. Uh, James, uh, I only caught bits and pieces on Sunday, but but uh, really, really good chat with you and Tim on on Sunday. Uh, really good show as well. So well done for that. But you're absolutely right. 40 watching, 17 likes. I mean, I'll take 17. It's like 16 more than normal. Um, but yes, do like. Uh, help Tim Tim out. Um, so yes, hit <laughs> hit that. <laughs> it's bad Giants cap math. Uh, hit hit those likes. James is spot on. Uh, Tim's not back, so I'm going to skip back to Thunder 404. Uh, so the comment is, if they, the Giants, trade back, let's say with the Saints from seven for 16 or 19, I believe. I think that's roughly where they are. In fact, I've got it in front of me. Let me let me check. Uh, yeah, 16 or 19, spot on. Um, uh, what two players would you want? If you took the 16th and the 19th for the 7th, I'm not sure. Maybe the Saints. Maybe the Saints would give it up. Uh, I, I'd have to think on that. It's a really good question. Uh, depends on who you got there. I think. Oh, what a question. I, I, I'll have to think on that one. And while I think on that, I uh, definitely want to ask Tim. That's a great question, uh, but so hard to answer because you don't know who's going to go. Um, don't worry, guys. Tim will be back soon. Then you can listen to a man that knows far more than me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> James, uh, you heard Lawrence Taylor, Tim. Stay off crack and stay off Twitter. Uh, I don't go on Twitter, but uh, it, it's, it always makes me laugh. He rants about Twitter and how it makes his head hurt and goes straight back on it uh, straight away afterwards. Oh, dear me. Christopher, I'm still thinking about that question from the four. I thought, oh, what a question. Need to, uh, great question. Anyway, Christopher Spires. Uh, sorry, I can't do the clicking because he has the controls, not me. Uh, he has the power as he loves to press that button. But what are you going to do if the Giants pass on Malik? I'm OK with with, with that. I, I'm happy if we take the quarterback, if we think he's the, he's the one. If we don't and or we decide we're, we're going to risk it and try and build some pieces around a, a new quarterback coming in next year, whoever that's going to be. I'm not going to cry about it with the amount of holes we've got on the team. Um, I've, I've said before, I like Malik's upside. I think there, there's a lot of upside there. I think he's he he's probably over drafted at five. But if you've got your quarterback, or you think your franchise quarterback, then it, you, you, if they're if, if you're if you're reaching, you're reaching. If you if you if you get it right, you hit the jackpot. Who cares where you draft them? 
Um, so I won't be terribly upset because I, um, I think there's so many holes. Um, Tim, Tim will be furious. It will, he will be livid, uh, absolutely livid. If we, if, and if we take Charles Cross, I would be furious if we take Charles Cross. But if we took Cross with Willis on the board, I mean, Cross would have would would, would be in a massive understatement. He would be ranting for England if if that were to happen. So, so that's where I'm at on on, on that, and I think that's where uh, where uh, where Tim would be if we passed on Malik. Oh. Lots of, lots of love going in between uh, Kareem, James and Jay. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's go on. <laughs> Jay, who's your plumber got in the first round? Tim, if you can hear me, ask your plumber who he's got in the first round for the Giants. Um, thanks, James. Big Dom holding it down. Yeah, not not terribly well. This is why I don't have my own channel. It'll be I'd be hopeless, uh, but I'll, I'll do my best. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Christopher uh, Spires, I don't see Giants drafting quarterback in the first round. No, I, I, I don't either. I, I think, uh, I think there's uh, two, 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 two reasons for that. One, I suspect that Mara still has a little bit, or, or, or not a little bit. He's the owner. I think. He's All right, you know what? We, you, I'm I, I've been talking for ages. You're back. You, I was really on the question. phone for four and a half minutes. I had to talk ages. for four and a half minutes. No one's here for me. They're here for you. We all know that. <laughs> now my hair this is a mess. Great, this is a great question, by the way. Thunder 404 says, if the Giants trade back, let's say, with the Saints, for, uh, from 7 to 16 and 19, I believe, those are the picks. They have the two players that would you want. Would you consider Booth from Clemson? Or, I'm still not taking Linderbaum. I'm not taking Linderbaum. I'm not taking Linderbaum till later. Uh, in the draft, I'm not taking Linderbaum oh, until the late twenties. Yeah, I think he's a better player than that, but you just don't draft the position. Just can't take a, you just can't take a center that high. There's too many. There's too much more. There's too much more. There's too many p better positional value players. And Booth, the corner out of Clemson, six feet, two hundred pounds. Uh, no, I can't take a corner. I can't. I can't take a corner there. I, I gotta. I still gotta find myself a linebacker. I, I, I still. I'd be to, considering Dean if he falls that far at sixteen, nineteen. Dean, I would. I would take Dean. I still have Dean ranked eleventh uh, on my list. I like Kenyon Green as well. I know he's yeah, an I inside. I, I know he's uh, an interior lineman. But if I'm going to go a lineman, that's someone that I would be interested in as well because I think he's a he's a guy who plays in the interior and I think he can go out into the right tackle position. And I think he would be a good value between 16 and 19. Perfect. I mean, in, in my opinion. Yeah. It's so hard to say, right. I mean, I think at that point you just take whoever the best players available are in both, you know, almost regardless of position. Yeah. Uh, so hard to say, wouldn't it be? Yeah. It's, it's hard to say. Uh, when is Malik day? Malik is the day we draft him. <laughs> That's going to be Malik dancing day. Oh, James Williams in the room. What's up fellas. Hey, James, I'm really late on the thing. It's I'm, not, I'm, 20 something minutes late on the chats. What's I covered the, all these off, but you go for it. You go for it. Happy Tuesday. And all. I'm going to try to grab these as many as I can right now. Uh, I just heard Lawrence. I just heard Lawrence Taylor, Tim, stay off the crack, stay off Twitter. That's true. I probably should. Uh, everyone's in the room. I got it. I'm sorry. Guys. What's up, fellas? Giants 34. Jay said, who's your plumber? <laughs> I mean, who's your plumber? Who's your plumber? Got to go in the first round. Uh, first round, I, I, I got to get a water heater. <laughs> I don't know if I have to get a water heater, but I, I have to look at the water heater. What's a water? Do you mean a boiler? No, we don't. No, oh, boy, cracky. We ain't got no boiler here. What do I look like? I live on a steamboat. No, but I did put my, I did put my fire on the other day. I thought I could do someone to come clean the chimney. Where's Dick Van Dyke when I need him? I was right here this whole time. Uh, let's see. Big Dom holding down. Christopher says, I just don't see the Giants drafting the quarterback in the first round. I, I, you know what I see in the first round? I see them drafting elite talent in the first round. On the board, the Malik Willis Express. It's not a quarterback. It's the face of a franchise. Charles Cross, yeah? Shut up. <laughs> Zach says, oh, Tim just got bored of Dom. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't really, I, I didn't I, really I, have to talk to the plumber. How many subscribers did I drop you in uh, four and a half minutes? In the four and a half minutes? I don't even want to check. Uh, Dom the Googler. Will Smith, hit that button. Dun -dun -dun. Getting jiggy with it. Dun -dun 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 -dun. 
as long as that's all he's hitting with you, all right. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> Swings like a girl, though. Oh, I can't believe you said that. Lloyd and Linderbaum by ECK Sports says he played Ali, and that's the best he's got. I'm sorry, I'm there, is something, there is something in that actually. Uh, the greatest boxer ever lived, arguably, will uh, would be turning in his grave if he saw that. If he saw that, you play Ali, and that's what you do to Chris Rock. <laughs> Go explain. Someone Chris explain barely, that one to me. Went backwards. Someone explain that one to me, and, and you and you're like. A foot taller and a hundred pounds. And, 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 and I'm not gonna get. Chris gonna get barely it. flinched. He barely flinched. Uh Tim, going on Twitter because it's free content. <laughs> we got ourselves a two tall super chat. Salute to Tim and the Dom. Drop it by the office to pay the proper respects for all the giant fans around the world slapping them stinky boy losers out the his house. I like to change things up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happens? All right, everyone's got to give me super chats because I got to buy a hot water heater. <laughs> this this is no longer for the kids. This is for the hot water heater. <laughs> oh my god! Elf uh, Elf Al player says Tim was conversing with the number twos and the number twos and a half of plumbers. I was. <laughs> I, I don't like plumbers. I mean, I actually like my plumber. I shouldn't say that. I think who it's has, bad. Who, who has he got in the first round? Who the plumber has? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care who the hell he has as long as he fixes my hot water heater. <laughs> Bring him back. Ask him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, I called you from a butcher shop. <laughs> so you think I won't call the plumber back? No. <laughs> ask him you, who's you, not in the first round. You 100% you would. You 100% would. I was telling someone about that the other day. They were like, if, if, if crazy American phones me from a butcher shop to ask what British bacon was. And they all looked at me and went, it's bacon, but that's what I said. It's British bacon. <laughs> Joey D, let's trade up to number one, draft Malik. Joey D ended the show. We're gone. We're out of here. <laughs> that's all we have to do. Let's do like the same I don't, I, don't th I don't think you'll need to, but I, I've worked out who your plumber's got, by the way, in the first plumber? round. What about, he, oh, he, my plumber? Yeah, yeah. They, they work with water, right? So he's definitely got coral. No. Uh, no plumbers worth plumbers here work with electricity. It's a little shocking. Get electricity, water, shocking. Uh, what does ECK ECK save us all? Atlanta fifth pick, Giants, uh, Chris Linderstrom. No, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me let me talk about this for a second. Did a video on this yesterday. I don't remember what day it was. <laughs> all days blend in. Everyone's like, we have to trade into 2023. We need two picks in 2023. I believe three teams are going to have two picks in 2023. But somehow, we're going to find our quarterback in 2023 and not have to worry about anything else because we have two picks. I'm sorry. And I did a video because someone said it would be malpractice if the Giants didn't trade and get two picks in 2023. So no other team, 31 other teams in the league are not thinking about doing this at all. The Giants are the only ones that are going to do this and they're going to figure it out. And they're going to make sure that maybe who would normally, who is probably going to be a bad team and need a quarterback is going to go first overall. Don't worry. We're going to trade gonna assets and we're going to push the game. We're going to pull the wimpy. Gladly pay, pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today and move into another draft, kind of like we did last year. Thank God we didn't get that Parsons kid because he is just a wreck. I know, I know, and uh, and Tony's ripping it up, so it's fine. Yeah, so it's all good, but we're just going to keep... Don't just get me wrong, the pick we got turned out to be a good pick. Like, we got a seven pick, but th there was no guarantees on that. And then and I explained... And then I said Chicago being the seventh yeah. worst team in the league. And then the I fight. explained to people that same exact scenario, Dom. What if these players, what if these teams that we trade with ball out and we get like the 28th pick? I mean, I I I I I think that we probably are looking to 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 trade back. Peter King is 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 also reporting, but he's being told that from people inside the Giants. Now, again, this could be rubbish. You have to take it with a bit of a pinch of salt. But with the salary cap position, there is a potential that we are looking to do that. I'm not against trading back, depending on what the assets that you get are. 
However, I'd want some picks this year and not just to switch in first rounders because then at least you know what that's worth because you're absolutely right to point out the risks in trading back. There is no guarantee on what those players are like next year. They could all get, I mean, they're not all going to get injured, but the players you potentially like at this moment in time could get injured. You might not be able to get to them because, as you say, you could, you know, you, you, you could trade out and suddenly, you know, a pick that you think might be worth, say, the number 10 pick suddenly turns into a number 20 pick and there's a big difference. So there are significant risks there um, with that. But I, I'm not against it. Um, but, you, but you are potentially giving up potentially top five talent that you can pick at seven. Watch, um, watch, me, doing in, it. watch me in two words wreck everyone's theory about Bryce Young. And everyone else, Let me, I'm going to I'm going to two words, I'm going to wreck everyone's theory. And why we should take Malik Willis, Spencer Rattler. Go on. That's it. Yeah, I know. But I, I, I thought you'd want to continue to no to make your no, no, that's you that, that's the point. You are waiting. I, I got his for, point. You, are, you I, are waiting for a quarterback. You are waiting to find somebody. You are waiting for the Messiah. You are waiting for Bryce Young. What if he turns you get, into Spencer? You, you get him he and, he does, Spencer and he does Radler. Spencer Radler. Yeah, exactly. You know, um, I, I thought you were, you were having made that. I thought you were, you were, you got on your soapbox. I thought you were going to continue. No, there, there's not, there's nothing, there is nothing to continue about that. But no, but there's no guarantees, right? I mean, there's Trevor no Lawrence. guarantees. You, and I said this before, before a bird in the hands beats two in the bush. I got a bird here. Am I going to let this bird go so I can go chase these two over here and maybe catch one or both? I have the quarterback. I have the franchise. I have the guy that you could build a team around who not only has the athletic ability, but has the personality that people are drawn to this kid who can literally be the face. I told you I had that one video where he's got his arms stretched out and he's got his big smile on his face and all these people around him. That's Malik Willis. That's what the Giants have been missing. Who rallies around Daniel Jones besides people that love Daniel Jones? Who rallies around him? Sometimes you look at his own team and you're not 100% sure how they truly feel about him. Yeah, I, I, you know, the, the thing is, if, like I said, if you if you've got a quarterback that you think is, and you know, I'm saying this while you were gone, you know, I'm okay if we don't trade Malik Willis, but if we think, you know, I, I don't think I was quite this blunt, but if, Oh, here's what it says. Uh, ECK says, I was surprised that Tim didn't kick Dom off when he said he didn't need to draft trade for Malik Willis. Hey, there you go. I bumped you off. <laughs> I had to. ECK, I said it. He told me to do it. I didn't want to do it. Yeah, and you normally do the complete opposite to what you're told. So why, why, why are you changing the habit now? Like, uh, Zach says, people usually call hot water healer boilers and regular told you, people usually see? turn to as oil. I never heard that before, Zach. <laughs> I've owned many houses. I've never heard that before. But I'm called the boiler. You know what the boiler is? The boiler is the thing that heats your basement in a school from the 50s. Or in most cases, the UK. <laughs> Keep our picks, Jay says. Too much high in talent this year. See, Jay's smart. You know what you've got this year. I'll be like Jay. Go ahead. You you do know what you've got this year, right? I mean that that is the advantage. Um, but like I say, I, I think we will end up trading back because I, if we if the offer comes because of the, because of the cap, and I think, but if we're trading back, I want to see us get at least another decent a high end. But you pick don't this you don't this know. year. But no one's going to give you a decent high end pick this year to trade up exactly. unless they're going unless they're going for a quarterback. Exactly, but you want to be in a position, and, and I'm not. I'm not saying we should do this. I'm okay at picking at five and seven. I'm also okay tra trading back if we get that. But the, if we trade back, you rightly point out it is full of risk if you do that. The pick last year was full of risk, and we ended up with the seventh. Lord knows if we if we do that now, and we end up with the twenty eighth. I mean, oh. Seattle would be a relatively <laughs> safe bet, right? Cheek. My wife loves me. She has to, I want to play bad one about all this. Someone has to. Someone has to. And a devil dog. And a devil dog. And um, coffee. But Seattle would be a. Oh, Seattle would be a relatively safe pick, right? In terms of, and hear me out here. In terms of, you'd expect that Seattle pick if you were to trade it to nine. I mean, it's not going to get you a whole load, but you know, you'd expect that to be a fairly high end pick next year. But there's no guarantee of it. 
you know, yeah. they could still go and boil out, but not boil out. There's me going on about boiling it. Uh, uh, you know, and suddenly what you think would be, say, a top five, top six pick suddenly could become a 15. And that's the risk you do. And if you do that, you have to be safe in the knowledge that you that that's a run, the risk you run. So while I'm OK with it, depending on, the, on that, you are running that risk and you could end up worse. You know, we got lucky last year, not with the pick we got in Tony, but you never know. That could still work out. There's still plenty right. of time. Um you know, but we got a seventh, uh, and I don't. I didn't expect to see that uh, us get a seventh out of Chicago this year. To be honest, I think I think Tony says it best. Willis at five. Willis at five, and we live. Willis at five. <laughs> I think he wants Willis at five. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Wait, let me get, let me get to the pimp named Slick back because I always enjoy his I always enjoy his icon. I get the desire to trade back, but if we could get to a cave on Tib. Thibodeau's Neil Gardner. I'd be happy. We need foundational pieces for the franchise. You know, what's funny. I talked about this today and I was talking about this with my wife in reference to something else. And I said something and I, and, and it's true to football. If you do not build a proper foundation, it doesn't matter how much flash you have. If the foundation doesn't support what you're trying to build. It, you're exactly right. And I think, you know, it's like a house, right? You don't start mm -hmm. with the roof. You you, you you start with the foundations, right. uh, you know, and, and I think there is something fundamental in that. And, ag and again, I think that's why I could understand if we, it, it, you know, and you do take the exception to that is your quarterback. If you haven't got the pieces, but you think there's a quarterback there, that is the exception in this league. But, you know, I, if we don't think that the quarterback's there, we put the foundation piece in place. And whether that's a lineman, whether that's a defensive end, right. whether that's a corner, whether doesn't matter. Put your put your pieces in, and ideally, you want your quarterback to come in last, right? When you've got the pieces around them. No, so you've got to not not necessarily no. last. But no, not necessarily, ideally, no. I want my franchise quarterback because the, one of the hardest no. things to find in the entire league, Dom, is what the same cricket. No, the franchise quarterback. I'm saying this ideally. Is franchise quarterback. I'm saying ideally, you want to have your pieces in so that he can come in and you no. put him on your rookie. Cup. No. Well, you want that first, and then put the piece around him. I want my franchise quarterback first. My franchise quarterback does not have to start right away. My franchise quarterback can sit and watch. My, it's hard. How many teams? The Jets. How long have the Jets been in search for a franchise quarterback? How exactly. long were the Jets About 1605? In, how long have the Jets been in search for a franchise quarterback when we had Eli Manning? Miami has Dolphins has been in search of a franchise quarterback since Marino. But I'm I not mean, question I'm not questioning the need for the franchise quarterback. What I'm saying, look, how many how many players come in that you that are a quarterback, right? That think they that we think is a really good player. You know, take Trevor Lawrence last year. We're talking one year, right, with Trevor Lawrence. But he's come in to Jacksonville. He didn't do well last year, right? The head coach was stupid. Exactly. But he comes into a bad situation. What happens if it continues for two or three years? Suddenly you've got that talent and it, and it goes. And how many times have we seen players that we think are going to be franchise quarterbacks, game game changers, face of the franchise, going to win Super Bowl, come into such bad situations that they that they get ruined? So what I'm saying is ideally you want your face, you, you want to find your your franchise quarterback, no question about that. But ideally, you want pieces for them to come into so that they can hit the ground running straight away. Because that window that you've got on the on the on the quarter, uh, you know, on the rookie contract is where you you got your best chance of winning. How long is uh, how long has Aaron Rodgers been in Green Bay? A a, a, a long long time. Right? How, many, but, how many rookie contracts has he gone through? Tom Brady. How many rookie contracts did he go through in New England before he left? Yeah, I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm saying that ideally. You want your franchise quarterback, and when you find that one, you take it, whatever the situation. But ideally, yeah, I still think that's the dumbest people. statement that you have to. And I'm a, and I've, I used to believe in this term, and I'm not picking on you, Dom. But I always thought that's the dumbest statement you have to worry in the first five years with a franchise rookie quarterback. I think it's the dumbest statement. Why? Because if your quarterback balls, let's say this, let's say in five years, Justin Herbert, because I see Tyrone with the Justin Herbert coming, let's say Justin Herbert doesn't only wins one playoff game or two playoff games, but balls out. Those first five seasons in year six is San Diego. San Diego is LA going to go? Nah, we don't want him. He sucks. He only threw for five thousand euros. We can get someone better in the draft. Uh, you don't necessarily get rid of him, but you took at someone like Brady, right? But he does take relatively team friendly deals for a quarterback, which does help him. But Aaron Rodgers has gone to win Super, Bowl. but but you are you you got more 
capital to put into pieces to build that better team. The downside is you've got a more inexperienced quarterback in those first few years, whereas a Rogers has seen it, been there, done it, got the T-shirt. So, so I think yes, you're right. It it is a, a partially dumb statement, but also you've got the opportunity to to you know with the right piece around them. It to, makes to it help, harder to, to give them the more support. It makes it harder to snap the ball if there's no one behind center. And well, if you want, and if it we want, make it hard to snap the ball. It if we want, and if we want someone, someone like Fromm to be our quarterback, then we're all good. But if you can't, they don't sit, teams don't the giant. And here's the thing. I'm going to destroy your theory again. Here's the thing that giant fans don't get. They want to get extra picks in 2023 because they want a potential to draft a quarterback, a quarterback. So you're willing to move assets into another year to potentially have to move more assets to move up to get a quarterback. Why? Because that is the first peg. That is the first peg on any team. If you ask any general manager, the first thing they are going to tell you is if you do not have a quarterback, you are not going to, you're not going to win. Tiki Barber, even, Tiki Barber even comes out and says, listen, if Daniel Jones is not a top 10, top 15 quarterback, why even bother? And I'm not well, a big he, fan of Tiki Barber, but he's right. He is right, but 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 what I'm I'm not saying that you don't take it right. But I'm saying if you don't think your franchise quarterback is here this year, then I can understand the 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 the, the, the opportunity to say we we're going to try to do that next year when there might be one that we get. You know now, what always gets you, you, know, you know but, what always gets you in trouble though, you, Dub. But wait, I'm going to stop. Hang you. On, wait, wait. No, one last thing. One last thing. No, 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 I don't even want to hear it. You know what always gets you in trouble? You know what gets giant fans in I'm trouble? Doing with you. You know, you know what gets you in trouble as a football fan, as a giant fan, as a basketball fan with for your team. You know what one word gets you in trouble? Hope. Right. Hope. <laughs> so I hope, they get I hope we can get a quarterback next year. I hope we can find our franchise quarterback in 2023. I hope we can make it to the Archie Manning draft and get ourselves a quarterback. That's what Jets do. And it's, and people are so in love with Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones fans want to get an extra pick because they hope they can get a franchise quarterback. You're right. But what I'm saying is if you do not think as a general manager, you already said I was right. <laughs> you already said I was right. So. Tyrone says, Justin Herbert, remember Gettleman in the peanut gallery swore we were going to get Herbert and we got Jones. Thank you, Tyrone. Thank you. And we end up with Daniel Jones. Not, we didn't end up with the duck. <sighs> and the, yeah, I was wrong on the duck, but what a player he's turned out to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I'm, ooh, 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 I'm getting smoky bones. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I thought you were ooing at this. Oh, yeah. No, I, that's okay. Everyone got their opinion. Opinions like assholes. Everyone's got one. Uh, I, w I want, I want my pulled pork. With mac and cheese and fries. There we go. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Tyrone. Tyrone just nailed. Oh, I was going back to this. I saw this one. Some people understand Malik Willis not a very good quarterback. I don't think so. But see, I allow everyone's opinion. I allow Dom's opinion, even though he's wrong 98% of the time. <laughs> He said the duck was going to suck. I did. I did. Yeah. I own, I, own, I, own that. I, own, I own that one. I own it. You know, James Williams, the smart people also thought Daniel Jones would be a franchise quarterback. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Some, you know, sometimes you don't know, right? But, you know, uh, people surprise you. Some players you don't think are going to make it, uh, make it, and vice versa. But I, Daniel Jones is, yeah, it's, it was apparent a long time ago that he wasn't it. Let's trade down so we get another number one pick next year to get a quarterback. What? Malik Willis at five. Done. DJ Balls out. Trade him. Bring in the boom. John, you are my new co-host. Bring in the boom. And I also like him because he was like a biker. <laughs> Oh, you, know, dear. Like and you, you make know, my head, you make my head hurt because I just said I said repeatedly like if you do not think then you do that if you think the quarterback is there you take it but never mind. 
Uh, Ohio Hurricanes always dropping his five bucks too. All the board to the jump Malik on the Willis Malik Willis Express. Express. He is one of these diehard Malik Willis Expressers. He has moved up from the coach. He is sitting in first class plus, sipping on some champagne, looking at the caviar, saying, "We're taking Malik." You have a fancy ass train, don't you? Oh, I do have a fancy ass train. Big L says, "What's going on, my brothers? Tim and Dom, get me to the draft now. Doing it, and doing it, and doing. Oh no, it's little Jake Hunter. Ah, uh, you know what? L's going to be on the show. L's going to be on the draft show. I believe. Oh, the draft show, great. I believe. I believe L. If, I'm, if I remember correctly, my list. The list is growing. If you want to be on the draft show, you don't need to have any knowledge. Just look at Dom. Just email me at Tim at onlinebigblue.com. Tim at onlinebigblue.com. And we, you can you could jump on the draft show. The draft show is only subscribers. That's it. Only subscribers are going to be on the show. No, no special guests. No, no, whatever. Just subscribers. Well, there's, you're going to have lots of special guests. They just have to all be subscribers. Look no. at me being nice. Shut up. I really should. So what happened to my subscriber? Yeah, clearly, I've seen your likes. <laughs> clearly, because we only got 37 likes. Like the damn thing. Jonathan is all in for Archie Manning. <laughs> Get to says you build the team from the inside out. You take the right tackle at five, edge at seven, let Jones play out this season and earn himself a second contract. Here's, I mean, but we've talked about this, Tom. Here, here is the, the issue with allowing Daniel Jones to do that. There, there, there's a certain player. King of the almost sack. Who was something for five years, was something for one year, and everyone thought this five years went away. So even if Daniel Jones balls out, you can't sit there and tell me you're going to give him $25 million to come back the I'm next a, year. I'm and hope, the rest. And hope he's going to be good. I mean... You know, like I say, and I've, I say until I'm blue in the face, if if you don't need a quarterback in the draft, then, yeah, you go. I'd go with Tyrell Taylor over Daniel Jones, particularly with his neck injury. But there you go. Um, but I think that you're exactly right on the on the second contract. I would, let's say Daniel Jones comes back. Let's say he starts 17 games. Let's say he wins eight, right? That would not be a disaster in, with the, the roster we're likely to have. If he went eight and nine, that would, you know, you know, throws, I don't know, 24, 25 touchdowns, something like that, and say eight, ten interceptions even. Like, you know, I'm not saying that's like well-beating numbers, but, you know, I, you just can't give him a second contract, as you say, you know, it's 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 the Leonard Williams effect, and how many times we've done it before, he's not done it often enough. He And he's not going to win you, a, he's not good enough to win you a Super Bowl. He's not, he's not good enough to win you an NFC Championship game. Uh, he's he, he's not, and you just have to you just have to move on and let him go, uh, regardless. And if that means he wins a second contract elsewhere, then fine. Then you let um, him go. That was a very weird noise. <laughs> That's my son playing the new Star Wars game. Uh, you Joey D's got it better. Joey D nails it again. Joey D is now my second favorite subscriber. <laughs> I don't know who my first one is. It's lying. I love everyone equally. You got to build around a franchise quarterback. What a better guy to build around than Melody Quillis. Doing it. Doing it doing he's it. got enormous upside. He's got enormous upside. And he, he's the type of quarterback I'd want to see here in terms of, you know, the way he plays, right? No question on that. And Pandemonium jumping in here with the super chat was saying, Giant fans are ungrateful. DJ has been the best player on this team for two years now. Oh, that saying much. That's not saying much. And that's not that's 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 like saying uh, that's like saying Oliver Twist was the best kid in the orphanage. <laughs> what is that saying? Well, I mean, what does that mean? Nothing. It doesn't mean anything. Please, Sam, I have some more. <sighs> <sighs> oh, I'm writing that one down. Where's my pen? <laughs> I'm <laughs> using that one at work tomorrow. Hundred <laughs> percent. I forgot what you used at work. No, use lost in the sauce at work. I use that all the time. That it, I used it. I, 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 I remember. literally used it today. I said to someone, I was like, your message gets lost in the sauce. You need to move that bit up there. So, cause that's the key bit, like move that up top. And he was like, lost in the sauce. I was like, yeah, lost in the sauce. I was like, and don't you know that? Don't you know that expression? I, literally. I was like, I don't even have time to explain. Just do as I told you. 
<laughs> you forgot to add that phrase trademark not to use that position ricky bobby and that's what's used that that's a trademark for online big blue lost in the sauce d uh, dano says tim did you see chris simmons valuation of the quarterbacks he had wasn't flattering to malik willis yeah chris sims also think daniel jones was a good quarterback <laughs> Yeah, uh, Chris Sims continues to think Daniel Jones is a good quarterback. And let me tell you something about Chris Sims. I was in Tampa his rookie year. Okay. All right. That's all I'm going to say. So maybe he just hates me. Yeah, because it's definitely personal. I think it's personal. I think it's personal. Just because I wouldn't give him extra internet. Hope, Dane Tyrone says, hope equals loser's mentality. Yeah, it does. It's uh, it's it, 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 one of uh, um, a mate of mine who supports a, a football team. Over here. What the hell's wrong? I know. I have no idea. I want to come over there and smack you in the head to get. I, I, oh no! Okay, now everything's working perfect. I want to Will Smith you, but I want to actually hit you like a man. No, Sorry. don't do that. I would be out cold for like a week if you hit me. But yeah, we all, we, we, we we've been talking for like ten years about how terrible our teams are, and we're like. It's the hope that kills you. The moment we think we get good is where it all starts to come tumbling down around us. That's the problem. Uh, will Dab be able to fix? Well, Dave will be able to fix Daniel Jones. And, and and you know what the thing is, Dom? For all the people that think that Daniel Jones is Josh Allen. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I mean I thought that was a comedy joke. That was a comedy joke. He's with Oliver Twist. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? I'm not even. I'm gonna go on the Jersey, Jersey Beamers. <laughs> two, two things. One, they are very different styles of quarterback. Secondly, I don't think Jones is broken. I just don't think that Jones is any better than we've shown him. Right? You, it's not a question of fixing him. It's that's his level. Right? That that's it. My it's hot that, water heater is fault. broken. <laughs> this is Dom. My hot water heater is broken. Daniel Jones sucks. Okay. See, there's two different comparisons. One can be fixed. I will get a new hot water heater. I guess you could get a new quarterback. Daniel Jones, by the perfect conditions and in moments of flashes, he, he, that is he's been his level for, for however many years it's been now. Three years. Three he's, years. Not gonna, he's not going to get. He's not going to get exponentially better. Certainly he, not he's here. Been having this debate for three it, years. It, well, exactly. Like he's not going to get better. It, it's not gonna. It's not gonna happen. So no, he can't be fixed because that's his level. People need to start liking because I'm still at 37, I think. No, I'm at 42. <laughs> I can't do math. Uh, let's see here. I'm sorry. Pat Shermer wanted Daniel Jones, and Shermer doesn't have a job in the NFL. Boom. Drop the mic. Job done. Away you go. Dropped the mic. I That's think a- Shermer will be back as an OC at some point. but um... I think he will. I think he will, too. What does Give2 have to say? Give2 says, I give2 to make a thing go right. It takes two to make it out of sight. I want to rock right now. I'm Rob Ace and I came to get down. I'm not internationally known, but I'm known throughout the microphone because I get stupid. I mean, outrageous. Stay away from me if you're contagious because I'm a man now. No, not a loser. Be an MC. What I choose are ladies, lovely girls, and don't because of the similar like. Sorry. You done? <sighs> Just don't reach for a quarterback because you think Jones, don't think Jones. You're not reaching. You're not reaching. I'm telling you this. I am giving this, and I have never done this. That's what she said. I am giving Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. I am giving Daniel Jones the boot. I am giving Malik Willis the online big blue official stamp of approval. approval. He's getting the seal of approval. I've never done that. He's getting the online big blue seal of approval. That's like a guarantee. I mean, with, with, with Malik Willis, let's say he's the 20th best player in the draft for argument's sake, right? But actually... Like I said earlier, if if you think that that guy is your franchise quarterback and you take him number one and he proves to be it, doesn't matter. If you take him number ten, doesn't matter. You know, you you just take your quarterback if if that's the one that you think is your franchise quarterback. He might not turn out to be, and you might be trying again in three or four years time. But but it's the one position where you you you, you I you're I'd be more prepared to take a gamble than any other position for a quarterback. Chris says, "I watched Malik. I just don't see it." Well, Chris, I think you should also let people know that technically you are legally blind. So I think that should be a, I think that should be a, what's Jeffrey got to say, Jeffrey, what's up, Jeffrey, Abby, don't get a quarterback in 2023. Then what you wait? Yes. That's what we were screaming. 
Jeffrey, yeah. What do you do then if you don't get the quarterback in 2023? What do you do then? Do we go? Well, we'll, get we'll keep trading. Pick. We'll trade all of our picks till we have 14 of them in 2026. And knowing our luck, they would be like picks 11 <laughs> through 20 something. That's going to be our luck. <laughs> that That's would be fine. No, it's fine though because we can just give Daniel Jones a three-year contract. It takes us twenty twenty-six. He'll be fine. I, I, I think the greatest person. On, <laughs> I can't remember who it was, and I have to give him credit, but I can't remember who it was. On Twitter, they said to me, "Daniel Jones is going to be our quarterback for the next sixteen years, not because he's good, but because we're going to keep pushing back <laughs> draft choices into the following draft." <laughs> you, you only, like I said earlier, you only push it back until you think you found your, uh, your, your, your quarterback. But Daniel Jones, I'll call it back to 2026 because he's going to be good. Hear this, says Jeff. Sorry, Jess. Hear this, says Jeff. This season starts five months down the road, September. Make no mistake about it. Tim, you get your Giants hat and jacket on. Let's go. I always have my Giant jacket on. I love when someone said to me the other day, you, you, and I thought they were being sarcastic, but it turned out they weren't. You're not a real Giant fan because when you come on here, you don't have Giant gear on. You, a, you do sometimes, but B, I don't necessarily think that doesn't make you and, a fan. And most of the time that I don't have, most of the time when I do have giant gear on, it's because I'm having a bad hair day. <laughs> you got your hat on. I got my hat on. No, I don't wear giant. I'm not 12. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's, that's very much my take on it. <laughs> I'm not 12. It does, I don't have to, I don't have to come on here and do a video every day wearing giant gear for you to know I'm a giant channel. <laughs> so. Oh, dear Lord. Great balls of fire. I'm on fire today. What time am I putting that coffee? <sighs> I'm trying to figure out a way to um, Dom, do the draft from the parking lot of Giant Stadium. <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> no, I, I wasn't laughing at the ridiculous nature of it. Like, only you could think that's where I'm going to do the show from. <laughs> no, I have tickets. I have tickets. Uh, they the, the Giants have a draft party. I have tickets. I got four tickets to the draft party. So I'm trying to think of a way to do the draft show from the parking lot and then go inside when the Giants pick, which means that would be a lot of pressure on you to run the show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what what James is doing that night. <laughs> yeah. We get a, get a co-host on uh, that can, you know, that can competently run the IT. Where's Zach? He can Google. Where's Zach? Jeffrey says Giants not going anywhere until they get a quarterback worthy enough to build around. Yeah, that's true. That's not... true. Th- that you could keep, absolutely true. You could keep putting the pieces around Daniel Jones. You could keep doing it. But the problem is this. How how often do you keep putting the pieces around someone that is not the foundational piece? How how why do we keep doing this? And I've said this before. I'm tired of hearing Mara. We screwed this kid up because he needs a better offensive line. He needs better wide receivers. He needs them to run better routes. He needs a better running game. He needs a more consistency on the playbook. He needs to have the winter equinox set off to this left sun and make sure that the moon is rising from the east. And the I wind think- is only two miles an hour that way. And the grass has to be exactly three quarters of an inch high because he might stumble. But beyond that, when we have all that, bang, we got ourselves a fucking quarter. We got ourselves a quarterback. Has, has he had the best, most ideal situation? No. But what's he done to make that? You know, I'm not saying he hasn't worked, but at some point you have to say, has he overcome it? Because the best quarterbacks overcome it. They overcome adversity. And you know that Joe Burrows game. guy who ripped his knee up, then ended up in the Super Bowl with a ter- with the same basically with, with off no as a line. line with no O line, right? You know, um, you know, uh, you know. Y- Trevor Lawrence didn't exactly rip it up last year, but he wasn't he wasn't awful. And you'd think Jacksonville aren't going to be great this year, but I would be surprised if there was not a leap forward there. Josh Allen, I mean, a very good quarterback, progression every year. We haven't seen it from Jones. We we haven't. And and Jeffrey's absolutely right. You know, you don't win anything to the quarterback, but I also don't think you take you don't take a quarterback just because you need one. This is why Jeffrey's right. Set. Yeah. He he sucks. He's terrible. And then I, 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 I just I just like to do this because then I could just answer your own question. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ohio hurricane. I love Ohio hurricane. I was born in a crossfire hurricane. Uh, what do we got there? Tony says, I guarantee if Willis was on our team the same amount of time Jones had been, Willis would not have had all the turnovers and losses. I agree. I actually really do. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a Willis homer, but I actually really agree with that. Because 
Daniel Jones cannot create. Daniel Jones cannot figure out things on his own. It needs to be scripted for him. All of his runs, scripted. You see what happens when he tries to scramble. <laughs> don't work out I mean, too well. I mean, we, we, we obviously don't know, but I think, you know, we've been in some tight games and you just don't trust Jones to, to get you over the line. Willis, we don't know what he can do at the NFL level, but he, I don't think he can be worse against Jones. You know what he's going to do? That's right. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, come on. We know what he's going to do. Come on. He's going to pull a Willie Beeman. We know it, Dom. We know what's going on. Sound just like him. But he, just... he, he, he certainly wouldn't. He certainly wouldn't be worse. And turnovers, he might have had, even you know, the same amount or more. But I think they'd be turnovers where he's going to try and make something happen, as opposed to going. There's a man right there on wearing a different jersey to me. I'm going to throw it directly at him. Like you know, uh, he wouldn't be making the stupid turnovers. He'd be an attempt to do something to make something happen, going deep downfield or, or or something like that. And I think there's a difference there. That he would be trying to win the game. And I kind of, you, I'm more okay with the turnovers in that situation than the stupid, stupid ones we continually see game after game from Daniel Jones. And I think that would be the difference. We got El Gigante moving, heading down to the DR. When are you heading down to the DR? You can bring it back some of the good stuff for the draft. Uh, and he wants Malik the Freak. Where's T Brad? Why don't you head down the DR, my friend? Give me some food. <laughs> I'll give you a I'll give you I'll give you a list. Uh Natalie says Daniel Jones is a turnover machine. You can't coach pocket presence. You can't. You cannot coach pocket presence. 100 percent You cannot teach awareness. You cannot teach where you need to be on the field with your ability. You cannot teach that. And and, and that, I mean, and that's that's the problem with Daniel Jones. We've said it a million times, Tom. Daniel Jones is a quarterback who cannot create his own shot. And if he was an NFL player, he he's a point guard that can't create his own shot. I mean, how, yeah. How many times have we said that? You said it loads of times. I mean, I wouldn't put it in those terms because of uh, you know, uh it's a, an American sport reference I don't follow, but I see it with my, the, the, the kids are coached, right? You're talking like seven-year-olds, right? But the points here, it, it is going to sound bizarre. Some of them are technically better than others, but there are two or three of them that already can read the game. And I just know they are going to be better when they're, when they're older because they catch up the technique, but they, they already reading the game. And some of them are looking and going, they're seven, they might well work it out, but, if they do not work out how to how to do this, the, 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 the awareness, I'm sorry. I gotta drop, make it, I gotta right? drop this one. I gotta drop this one because this just made, I forgot what I said, and we're so far behind in the chat. I have to drop this one. <laughs> I'll ever twist. Boom! Yeah. I, I I wrote it down. You said. What did I, I say? Did, again? I don't I remember what I said. I didn't actually write it down, by the way. Oh, he said something about him being you, the you, best. You said, uh, Daniel Jones being the best player on the Giants in the last two years is a bit like Oliver Twist saying he was the best kid in the orphanage. Wow, I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of an asshole. Jeez. What the You're hell? Not wrong. You're not wrong. Hang on. <laughs> Worryingly, worryingly, I was trying to think of someone who I think over two years has actually oh, been the best player on the Giants, and there's not not many candidates. Oh and Tuto has dropped in as a new member of the OG Online Big Blue subscriber service. We actually have people, Dom, and I'm going to break out the list. If you are an OG Online member for six months, six months, you get an Eli Manning 2011 replica ring. I will send you one. And the people that have gotten the rings say they're awesome, which is great. I don't make them. <laughs> I like to take credit for it. Uh, so, and actually, you, you, you have little elves. Do you have little elves? In the, I get a little uh, ring elves. <laughs> what do you think Oliver Twist is doing in the orphanage? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you see, I, I see you more as the artful dodger. <laughs> don't get, don't get me off. Don't get me off topic here. Um, so you get a ring, and I actually have. I think you are number. I think you're a month five. You're yeah, in month four I, I think, five. Uh, yeah, I must be coming and, up. And I think, um, and I think I have four other people that were in month heading into month five. It it took me a while to work out how the hell I did it. <laughs> and I think <laughs> the be I think the best part of this giveaway is I'm gonna go broke. <laughs> I charged a dollar ninety nine for the service because I couldn't give it away for free. Uh, happy Tuesday, everyone from Tim and uh, from from the Jeffrey. Uh, let's see here. What is, uh, what is, oh, I got an honest question about large friends. I got to get to James. Let's people say, 
Say it with me. DJ is what he is. And year four, you can't fix suck. <laughs> he, he, he might go somewhere else and be better, but I doubt it. I just don't see it. I, I don't see it either. Malik Willis couldn't make it to the Auburn against SE competition. I don't. Here's the problem. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to get into this because I've gotten into this a million times. He did not fit Auburn. There have been quarterbacks that beat, got beat out by other quarterbacks, Joe Burrows, who did not fit the system they were in, so they went someplace else. It's not that he couldn't fit in Auburn. Auburn wanted to make him a wide receiver. He wanted to play quarterback. He had enough confidence and faith into himself and said, screw it. I'm going to I am going to take it so I'm a year later. People forget Malik Willis is 22. He had to sit out a year and then show my wares and be where he is today. At the end of the day, whatever college he was at and whether he couldn't make it in Auburn or not, doesn't matter. He, uh, he, at this moment in time, he's rated as the number one quarterback by most people in this draft. And I'm telling you now, I, I think Pickett, if he goes ahead of Willis, I think that I I uh, I don't think that's it's a job, it would be ridiculous. It would yeah. be ridiculous, right? I, I mean, I think Pickett will fail in it. I really strongly think Pickett will fail. I, I just think he's got bus written all over him. I really, really do. James Williams says, "Ask yourself this: a great question. If you were a fan of the team of a different team, would you be scared of Daniel Jones' last two minutes of a game?" I mean, you just look outside the New York media, right? Uh, they tell you. No, you nobody right. would care. No, no, nobody, nobody thinks he's he's good outside New York. I love Apart this. From Chris one. Sims. I love this one. Daniel Jones's best days are behind him. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were in game one against Tampa. Oh God, what is our what is RF? What's going on, my? What's going on, RFFD? What's up, guys? I heard your video about trading down. If Malik is gone, and the Giants get tips at five, Lloyd at seven, Pitts offers one and a two and a five and the first to move to seven. Would you take it? No. No. Because I've already said, if I'm the Giants, I am taking Tibbs at five, Lloyd at seven. I fixed my Six, defense. 16 is a heck of a long way to drop. Too far before. I've already I fixed, I, I fixed my defense. Far. And I can then take my second rounder, my two third rounders, and whatever else, and I can rebuild the entire offensive line if I want to. I, I wouldn't want to drop past 12. I really I wouldn't want to drop further than that. You know, ideally, I want to pick at five and seven, but I'm not, like I said earlier, I'm not against trade, but I don't want to trade back further than 12. I love this one. Mr. Gigante says, I played against Chris Sims at high school at Paramus Catholic. Was a great high school quarterback, but that's about it. Maybe Daniel Jones is a great high school quarterback. Does history tell us? I don't know. At least says, No! Nothing can fix Jones. He is what he is. Daniel Jones is going to Disney, is not going to Disneyland. Never. <laughs> That's some great comments today, man. He just says, Jay says, ouch. I don't know what we're ouching, but honest question here from Logic's finest. Honest question. Does Daniel Jones have a single season over 500? No. Has Daniel Jones played a full season yet? No. Can someone explain to me why fans are blind hope in Daniel Jones? No. I mean, <laughs> I was like, couldn't I? Couldn't re I? Couldn't I? Couldn't you come you. to the wrong place for that question? You come to the wrong place. Oh, we have two toe dropping a super chat. Hello, I didn't become a member. I, I didn't become a member for freebies, Tim. Much better off than Eli as we speak. I know you didn't come to. That's a new I picture. I don't think. I don't think anyone did, right? That's a new picture. That's a new two toe. That's a new picture, right? Dom. That looks like it a does. new. It that looks, looks like, like a new picture. Twisted his body around, right? Yeah, and I think the worst part of this entire conversation is, I know that that's a different picture. <laughs> yeah, I think I had I, I need to get. Not only do I have to get off Twitter, I got to get off the. I got to get off of YouTube. What do you uh, do with your day? <laughs> too much. <laughs> way too Not much. <laughs> I, I got way too much going on. Now I got to ice down both knees. <laughs> Not having a good week. Uh, Tyrone says, I have my ring, Tim. Is the weather going all over the place over, over there, right? What's yeah. that? Is the weather going all over the place? The weather's all over the place. And I, and I tore some, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a ligament. Uh, it's really, it's a muscle, right? Right on the side of your kneecap, a little bit above. And I kind of tore it a little bit. So, that's what happens. You're going to, D, you're going to DR tonight. Well, have to say, I don't know what, 
I don't know what this DR is. Uh, it's it's uh, right next to PR. It's not next to PR. Dominican Republic. Ah. And PR is Puerto Rico. I mean, glad glad you glad you clarified that because I would have been here all night working that out. Well, that's not good. Daniel Jones says ice in his coffee from Starbucks. That's about it. Oh, Tyrone with the big Tyrone dropping in the big chat. Oh my god. DJ's ice is on his <laughs> ringer chain once in a while. Uh you know what I love it? I've said it before. Tyrod Taylor is my quarterback. Tyrod Taylor is the OG QB. And I'm gonna keep calling him that. He's gonna have he's going to have his own sound effect within the next couple of days. The OG QB. Because you you get Tyrod Taylor, you draft a franchise quarterback, and then the franchise quarterback balls out where he punctures his lung, and then he then they replace Tyrod Taylor. He's got to be the most unlucky quarterback in the history of the NFL, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. Razzle says, Razzle the Great says, you can make so many excuses for DJs, and most are valid, but any other quarterback who didn't behave like Eli 2.0 would have been gone by now. Yes. Great point. I actually feel, and uh, I got a feeling that if there was not the Cutcliffe connection, if there was not the Manning connection, if there was not that Mara thinks, because maybe Mara can't see very well, maybe he's got cataracts or something. I don't know. I mean, he doesn't. See, he sees Eli Manning, and I think that's the issue. That's what he sees. But no uh, one else. <laughs> and I think he also just so badly wants to be right so he can continue. Like, as you say, with the Eli, that's the, that's the way forward. But the league has moved on, right? You know, it really has. That's that's right. That's right. That's right, Tim. You got it, Tim. You got it. I appreciate it, Tutu. Tutu is my man. I knew it was a new picture. I knew it was a new picture. I knew it. You're paying attention, Tim. You, I know, Tutu. You know what the problem is and people get freaked out. Don't tell me something. I may not know what day it is, but I used to laugh because, like with Saeed, he, I would know when he has a test because <laughs> he would mention, he's like, well, I got this physics test. And I would ask him three days later, how did the physics test go? <laughs> so, and I remember I did that. He was like, it's like, you tell me something I remember. It's like your superpower. Yes, yes. I bet you never forget when Mrs. Online Big Blue's had her haircut. I bet you always mention it when she gets back. She just had her haircut the other day. There you go. And she got it styled and she kind of got like a Farrah Fawcett thing going on. Cause I can't oh, think well. of anyone. I, I can't think of anyone contemporary. <laughs> I can't think of contemporary people right now. Who, who um, did you say? And I'll get Zach to Google it. Farrah Fawcett. <laughs> Farrah Fawcett major. She had this flowing hair. I can't think of who has flowing hair. That's like a celebrity. Trevor Lawrence has flowing hair. Trevor Lawrence. No, she's, she's got better hair than Trevor Lawrence. I, I don't like Trevor I Lawrence. Can't, hair. I can't think of a, uh, I can't think of a celebrity. <laughs> can't think of a celebrity right now that has really nice hair besides me. A logic finance says all the excuses for Daniel Jones are negated by his stats. His stats are below average. And are you what your records say you are? You are what you record me. Yeah. yeah, you are what you say you are. That's true. Looking for another Eli clone. Someone's going to yell at me because I said John Mara had cataracts. <laughs> He's getting nasty emails. <laughs> We, 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 we got some adverts over here called should have gone to spec savers. Maybe you could start on the next one. I, I should never. You know what? It's funny because there's a I've talked about this before in the comment section. And then when you do a video, there's there's a comment section and then there's a comment section that gets kicked into spam. And sometimes it's not even for anything bad. And then there's a section next to that that it says, would you like to see this section? It's a section that things that are either too vulgar or if people think that they, that YouTube thinks it's too vulgar to post. <laughs> and then they're, they're the juicy ones. <laughs> Those are the ones I'm afraid to click. <laughs> I thought you used to read them. I did used to read them, but then I started feeling bad about myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, they must be bad if they brought your self-esteem down. Never. <laughs> I have a massive ego. My my thing is my thing is always this, and I always I always stop myself because I'm always every time because you are a fucking idiot. <laughs> That's usually my response. Oh, my uh, and uh, of course, uh, just just for clarity, uh, I believe you said that they are a ducking idiot. It was. Um, oh yes, that would be. I, I, I thought I misheard you. Yeah, you did miss her. Right? Enjoy those losses for Daniel Jones. D. John says DJ is good. 
But what has he done to keep his job? I believe Tyrod is Baylor. Malik sits one year, learns, and boom! Malik wins. Bring him the boom! Like I said, John's always smart. He looks like a biker. He looks like a biker. Nick says, I think Maris sees that Jones has no online, no wide receivers, no running games, zero time to throw. Lie, 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 lie. <laughs> Saquon Barkley. Booker had a good year. Booker did you went out and spent $72 million. Or actually, you went out and spent $82 million on a tight end and a wide receiver. Daniel I Jones drafted, held on one. and drafted one. Daniel Jones held on to the ball. I think last uh, two years ago, it was the third longest. I think this year it was like the sixth or the seventh longest. So how can someone sit there and say he doesn't have time to throw when he holds on the, holds on to the ball the seventh longest <laughs> at, a, at, a, at a 32 quarterbacks? And it's not only that, like like you know, I always say on this one, there's no sign of progression with him, and that's that's what worries me. If if, if all of these things were true, uh, consistently, you'd still expect some kind of improvement from him. And there's been none. If did if if his butts and sours and nuts and something happened every Oliver Twist, time, every time <laughs> something happened, I'll, get the likes up there, guys. Something happened to Oliver Twist. I don't know. Um, <laughs> He was know. the best kid in the orphanage. He was the best kid in the orphanage. Enough. Zero time to throw. He's had he holds when you hold on to the ball the seventh 2020, he was third longest. It was Russell Wilson and someone else. So he held on to the ball the third longest, which means he was in the pocket the third longest out of 32 quarterbacks. And then you blame the offensive line. We're not going to blame the decision-making process of the quarterback. And I've said this before. D Daniel Jones may look good on paper, but the problem is he can't process. He is a biker. He is a biker. I knew you were a biker, John. I could tell. One biker to the other. I can tell. I knew he was a biker. What do you ride? Everyone else shut up. I'm going to talk to John. What do you ride? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see here. Malik, uh, Jeffrey, Malik, two years of college. Malik is better than eight years of pro in college from number eight. Oh, my goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Cream says the closest thing that DJ can get to being Eli Man is acting as him in a Lifetime movie about Peyton. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a baseball sound effect. That, that's out of the park. That's a lot of black ball in nice. center field. It's going. It's going. It's careened. Oh my god. Um, he, he, he was gonna play him, but he kept falling over. <laughs> he couldn't make it to the audition. What's up, Tim? What's up, Dom? Didn't watch Malik. Not gonna lie. What's your closest comparison as a quarterback prospect prospect? I've already said it to you. Michael Vick ultra light. Vic had more of an intangible in reference to straight line speed and acceleration. So you're going to get a poor man's Michael Vick. And I think that would be exciting with Saquon Barkley. Just throwing that out there. Jay says, I don't see Jones lasting beyond week one with his neck. But, he but, 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 he, but, he, but he's running around cones. And he's running side to side. And did you see what's going on? He's working on his pocket presence, pocket presence at his Alamada in Duke, which he's done every offseason pretty much. And how's that worked out? It's, it's not it's not work, it's not working out. I agree with you, Jay. <laughs> I agree with you. Uh he's had he, well, he has talent at time to get rid of the ball, even if his coaching was horrible. And that was the worst play calling, no situational football awareness. Actually, I, top. it's not it's just not there. There's it's just some people have it. Some people have talent. And then the the wherewithal and the presence to make that talent work. Some people don't. I think it was Nikki that made the point earlier. It was like, you can't teach pocket awareness. You can't teach. It was pocket. Natalie. Natalie, sorry. Apology. But she was spot on. Absolutely spot on. You can't teach it. I never forget an initial. BS. <laughs> Jones still sucks. He does. He does. Uh, victory lap jackpot. Oh, victory lap jackpot. Oh, okay. Greatest, okay. I was thinking, I was, I liked the victory. I, th I was thinking more, you look like a Harley guy. One Harley guy, another. But I like the victory. You got an older bike too. I like older bikes. I like, I like older bikes a lot. Um, that's a nice bike though. <laughs> 
Don't even, don't, don't mind me. <laughs> Talking to John. <laughs> Dom rides a tricycle. My <laughs> promise is I'd probably, probably fall off a tri- I'd probably fall off a tricycle if I rode one. <laughs> promise his feet still can't hit the pedals. <laughs> I don't do much about victory. Tim, if we draft on Leak Willis and he plays a couple of games this year and we don't see any spark and we have a top five pick next year, nope. No, I we're wouldn't not, either. We're not gonna we're not gonna pull a uh, Josh Rosen. No, and not unless like you you think he's absolutely horrible technique and he's a bad kid, which he's not gonna be. No. Um but 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 in that scenario, you just play Tyrell Taylor if you see those things and he doesn't make the field like Jordan Love. Someone someone said to me that he's like, you should try to get Malik Willis on your channel and i told him have you seen this channel <laughs> he's a he's a baptist kid he went to a baptist college <laughs> i don't think his mom will let him come on this channel <laughs> is he swearing Dom is he swearing Tom curses a lot yeah is, is he swearing yeah no nah, he's not coming on he's not coming on do you have a do you have a fictional oh, he's very charitable so maybe you never know it's true <laughs> do you have a fictional strip club yep i do own one of those uh lj said lj says even if people feel like dj was giving a raw deal in new york you cannot extend him at this point it'd be trying to fix mistakes with more mi- spot on again i need the baseball sound effect oh, it's going it's going it's lj out of here spot on 100 percent wait a minute <laughs> Wait a minute, don't have any. Oh my god. I know I have a crowd sound effect. What do I do with it? I got so many different sound effects now. Label the goddamn buttons, man. Shut up. If anyone liked you, you would have your own YouTube channel. Oh. Yeah, I gotta label the buttons. <laughs> uh, you've got to label the buttons. I'm not getting Thank you, Mrs. Either. Online Big Blue. <laughs> I got two wives. Malik's floor is higher than Jones' is ceiling. Yeah, draft only Wilson. one of them's hot, and it's not me. Ah, <laughs> uh, you, you, we had, we had a, we had a, um, we had a conversation on what celebrity you looked like two weeks ago. And I can't remember who, who we came, who we landed on. To me, yeah, it was on the, um, it was on a Sunday street. Wood, wasn't it? No, it was, it was someone else before that, and I, and I didn't know who it was. I had to Google it. Two to drop it in the super chat. DJ's time is up. He keeps on falling. Can't get up no more. Waste of valuable time and many money. Forget about it. Get rid of him. Put him out the door. Put him out of my misery. Old yellow room. Put him in the orphanage with Oliver Twist. Whatever you got to do. Whatever you have to do. We we, we 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 swung and we missed, right? It happens, like you know. It does. It's done. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh God. Wait a minute here. Hold on. Oh, I, I got one. It's a crowd noise. I know I got one. It's a crowd noise. Hold on. Go on take your time. We've got plenty. Okay. Uh, bank number four. Here we go. There we go. Here we go. Number four. Three, four. There we go. It's a swing and a miss on the outside. That's Daniel Jones. That's strike number 19,498. But you know what? They're still letting him stay up at the plate. John Mara must be the umpire. Sorry. Oh, Mara must be the umpire. Logic's fine. I said, Giant fans say Jalen Hurts sucks, yet his stats are better in every category compared to Dan Jones. Why blind hope isn't Daniel Jones? I don't know. Why? I don't know. Why? I don't know. It, it, there's no rhyme or reason for it. Jalen I mean, Hurts is so terrible. He took his team to the playoffs. I mean, J- Jalen Hurts might not be it either, but I, I, I have more faith in Jalen Hurts running my team than Daniel Jones. So do I. And I said that, and I got in trouble for it. That's right. I'll take one for the team. That's what she said. <laughs> what labels? What buttons? <laughs> one day. I got a brand new computer too. Of course you did. I got the new fan. I got the new because I because I do a lot of editing and stuff. So I got the new Mac. Got it like a week ago. Still in the box. You know it's in the <laughs> still, in the box. still in the box upstairs. I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna get to it. Well, when what, it's obsolete. It might. What um the movie depart the, the movie The Departed. Oh, I love that movie. I had that on, get this, I had that on DVD. I bought it on DVD when it first came out on DVD, and I put it in my computer bag. 
This was, I don't forget what year it came out. What oh, it must have been, uh, I'll look it up, but it would have been over 10 years ago, I thought. I think it's longer than that. Yeah, exactly. Uh, 2006. <laughs> oh, I was going to say 2008. 2006. So I put it, I, I was still working. I put it in my computer bag. <laughs> you already found it the other day, didn't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but, but the best part is I put it in my computer bag and I just watched it like a year ago. Not the DVD. I sat down and watched it. That, it still hasn't been opened. So I bought, no, it hasn't. I bought it in 2007 and I just watched the movie last year. And yes, it is still, it was still, because I found my computer bag when I was cleaning that stuff and it was still in my computer bag. So yes, I will get to labeling. I will get to the new, I will get to the new computer. Uh, the Giants did wrong. The year 2036 and. <laughs> it's true. The Giants did wrong by not giving them the proper roster or coaching. Now Jones has suffered through the same, but we're no, he, he's not as good as Eli. He's right. He's not as good as Eli. Logic, Logic finds says Daniel Jones has three good rookie games, not a season. Remove those three games and all the positive stats are. Yeah, I've said that. How many times have we said that, though? Yeah, it, it, you know, this season, let's say he plays 17 games, you have one or two games where he looks really, really good, but that'll be it. Let's load up the O line and get Eli. I didn't want Eli back. I, I thought Eli should have been three years. Three years before he retired, I thought he should have retired or moved on. And I'm a huge Eli fan, but I, I thought he should have moved on. After that Washington game, when New Orleans, New Orleans Darqua ran for a hundred something yards and we beat the Redskins, oh, damn it! <laughs> no, it was Redskins back. Yeah, then. They were at the time. I can say that. Dominic says, Giant fans have amnesia when it comes to Jones. He drives us crazy during the season, but during the oh, that's a great point. But during the off season, I hear nothing but excuse. That's a great point. It's almost like you forget everything that happened. Prior to prior to the off season, it's like it's like all of a sudden like it gets erased. It's it, it's like a Men in Black. They're Galaxy defenders. Daniel Jones yeah. is great. There we go. <laughs> Daniel Jones is great. The the only thing run around I, cones. The only thing I take issue with is that he, unfortunately we don't get to the off season before we start hearing all the excuses. I take issue with giraffes and hats. They shouldn't be wearing hats. Jay what says, oh, "What? What is wrong with you?" A lot of things. Jay says, "If Taylor outplays Jones in the preseason, would Dable start?" T this is my concern because I think this could be a quick way for Dable to lose the team. Let's say, let's say that Tyra Taylor. Outplays Jones in camp, in preseason. I mean, by a mile. And then all of a sudden, they say, well, we're going to start Daniel Jones. That is a great way to lose a team. It's the wrong message, isn't it? You know, it's the wrong message. It, it, the message is, it doesn't matter how hard you work, what you do, you know, and how well you do it, you're not playing. Because ownership wants to see the quarterback messiah. And it's a big thing. It was a big concern all, all year was, can the owners step back? Can they just let Shane and Dable run the team? Because, again, it's like we can't move forward without a quarterback, but we also can't move forward with Mara interfering. Let the football guys do the football work. Right. All right, guys, we got to get up to at least uh, 60 likes. What are we at here? We're at 54. That's not good. That's not good. Like the damn thing. Okay, I don't, I can't believe we're, we're all adults. Do I really have to tell people to like? Really? You know this by now. Yes. You know it by now. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes, okay. Evidently, I do know this by now. Just like the damn video. How hard is it? Watch this. Oh, look, I'm watching Tim's video. Like, okay, then you go back to watch. <laughs> You're adults. I have confidence in you. I have faith in you. And I have faith in Jeffrey to blank out the expletive letters. And I love it. That's like, that's like well done. Love it there. Giants are not looking good. Hurts, Wentz, all better than number eight. Where does the Giants leave in the NFC East? Dead. Bleep. Last. Yeah. I, I think it would be a shock if we're anywhere but last this year. 
Pandemonium says number uh, super chats. Pandemonium with the super chat. Willis didn't fit Auburn's system scheme like Jones doesn't fit Garrett's scheme. Here's the thing. You got yourself in trouble on this one. Willis left Auburn to be successful. <laughs> Do I have a mic? Because I'd be dropping sure. it right now. Because I would have to drop it right now. Will The thing is, what scheme then does DJ fit? What scheme does he fit? He's not a West Coast guy. He can't run. He doesn't throw downfield. Jason Garrett, and it's pretty much proven fact now via the edict from Joe Judge, said do not have Daniel Jones be the one that cost us the games. Limit his turnovers. Which means do not put him in a position where he can lose the game for us. That's how much they trusted Daniel Jones. You you know you hear the words, but it's the actions that speak louder than words. And exactly. And, look, and Garrett Garrett limited the playbook deliberately for Jones because that's what he was a asked to, and b that's what Jones was. That's what he is. That's not what he was. He still is. Because you oh god, I forgot I meant in black you. <sighs> Forgot you can't remember anything now. About last I was referring year. to was under Garrett in terms Damn, of like, you can't remember what you last year to now. Who are you again? I'm all of a twist. I'm the best quarterback in the orphanage. Uh, maybe we need to draft all of a twist. <laughs> but you all enjoyed Dale Jones. Yep, I agree. What I fear, snakes on a plane. Dan, uh, the new GM and coach are going to deal with another losing year. We hope the media and the people, this is my thing. And I've said this before on a video right now, this year, unless they do something stupid, they have carte blanche. They should have carte blanche. nothing that they do. Unless they pull a um, Joe judge, nothing, they, nothing they could do right now. will put them in a bad light because they have no cap space. They have no talent. So whatever they do, they should look good. It's not going to be till 2023. Is will the will the media and the fans turn on these guys? Yeah, the, I I think they've done a pretty good job in this off season of doing oh, the no, best they can with the situation they've done. Hair has been killing me. But you know they they've done a good oh, job. I got I to admire my hair. You do your hair, but they've done a good job this off season given the situation they are in. And, and you 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 know as you say. They're not going to win a lot of games despite what they've done in the offseason. And, you know, but what more they were supposed to do. Right. So they're, they're, in a, they're in a win-win position right now. Uh, Mark Thompson from Barbados dropping by. Mark's going to be on the big subscriber-only draft show. If you want to be on that draft show, just email me at Tim at OnlineBigBlue.com. That's Tim at OnlineBigBlue.com. I like my new email address. <laughs> well, it's not a new email address. <laughs> Uh, allow the GM and coach to get their own quarterback. I agree. What does Ron want have to say? If Tyrod Taylor has a great priest, uh, we already did that one. <laughs> we already did that one. We get scared about that one. What's oh USO? What's up, USO? I haven't seen you. Good evening, gentlemen. Just got off work. Hope you guys are having a great day. What is the possibilities of us getting Zion high in the second? Um, I like Zion a lot. Dom, um, I think I've I think I've I, I do him. too. He... Gilbert Godfrey died. Oh, I'm going to go back to that in a minute. I didn't know. Hey, Nikki. Gilbert Godfrey died. Gilbert Godfrey, Godfrey a comedian, a uh, very famous comedian. I actually like Gilbert Godfrey. He he passed he passed away. Today. I didn't know that. I did not know that. That's a little sad. That's a little sad. Um, I got thrown off my game there for a second. I used to love on the Howard Stern show. Oh, you know what? If you, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to get into Dwayne Haskins too much again, but, um, there's a video uh, on YouTube actually from a guy that was a truck driver that was at the scene of the accident. And what he's saying happened was because he has the, he has the video and everything posted. He, what he was saying happened was um, that looks like his car had run out of gas Dwayne Haskins. And he tried to cross the highway uh, to try to get someone to help him refuel, which is just, just makes it, however, even, it just makes however it it, however it happened it's just uh, incredibly sad right i yeah, mean it just makes it even more senseless i mean i i don't know who gilbert uh godfrey is but again you know gilbert it, godfrey it, was it's, a famous never, it's, it's never nice to, to hear someone pass he's, he's probably in his 70s he's a famous comedian <sighs> great job nikki <laughs> way to bring down the show that phrase trademark not to use the other make the 
I was trying to jump into the poppy. <laughs> Just label the gut. Oh my god! You would think I have a thing. Oh, it's number twenty nine for Gilbert Godfrey because actually he started his uh, career at strip clubs. Let's talk audio. <laughs> this one is for Gilbert Godfrey, who is over up in heaven right now. If you're looking for the best place to go, you know where to go. It's Poppy Cockers, the best place of our adult entertainment in the West End. If you're looking to get your Poppy Cockers, there's no better place to go than Poppy Cockers. That's for Gilbert Godfrey. He started his career in strip clubs. You got to start somewhere. But you're true. You're true. That's what you start I, and, presume, and look, he climbed the greasy pole. <laughs> I was going to say something, but I can't. Oh, my God. That's what she said. <laughs> there you go. Oh, my goodness. Something wrong. Something's very wrong. Uh, but drafting Zion, I think Zion's going to go late in the first round. Uh, yeah. I, I, I He's going to go like between 28 to 32. I had him as my ideal second round pick, but I, I don't think he's going to get there. I, I no, think you're exactly right. Someone like the, the, the Bucks will take him, I think, if he's there. If we're only going to win five games this year, let DJ play. He has an average of four wins, anyways. Yeah, I guess. You, I mean, I guess that's. I guess logically, you can look at it that way. What is Giant Fan Thirty? What is Giant Thirty Four? So Tim, all these DJ fans love him and think he's potential, but forget the difference between having a great, good quarterback, terrible quarterback, is a good quarterback, a consistent quarterback, and a bad quarterback who plays up and down. And DJ is in, and DJ is inconsistent. You're right. Don't worry, Giants. I'm not sure I'd even give him the courtesy of being inconsistent, really. Um, you know, because I think he's he's fairly consistently bad. He's consistently incons- terrible. Yeah. I Don't mean, worry, Giants 34. Boop. You've been men in black. Now you could be like the rest of the DJ. I have to get one of those now. Now I have to get one. Now I have to get one. Oh, do you know what's quite sad? You'll have one by next week. I'll probably have one by tomorrow. Gilbert Godfrey was hilarious on the Howard Stern show, and he really was Maximus. He really was. And this is the other thing. Oh, my God. This is the other thing. I don't like talking about this. Dinner is here. Um, I don't like talking about this. Willis is 100. How many commercial? Well, you, you're not in this area. You're not You're not in the States. But Baker many, Mayfield right, has loads of commercials. Right? Loads of commercials. How many, yes, how many commercials does Daniel Jones have? I'm going to go with. There's the one advertising stocks and shares. There's the insurance one, and there's dentures because they're sensible investment if you've got no teeth. Uh, I mean, and there's three, right? And those are three more than he has. <laughs> Eli Manning had. Dun- he can't have zero. E- Eli <laughs> Manning. Had, had, sorry for him. Eli Manning had Dunkin' Donuts. Eli Manning had Toyota. Eli Manning has the Reds hot sauce now. Eli Manning had so many different commercial endorsements when he was playing here with the Giants. Eli Manning used to kill me because I didn't get to go. There was one day I, I was actually going to go to this Dunkin' Donuts and I didn't. And Eli Manning was giving out the coffee in the drive-thru. It was it was in a place in Jersey, and I didn't go and get I didn't go and get coffee that day. Oh, you must have been so upset. I was so upset when my buddy came in and said, "Just reserve, guess who served me coffee?" It's like your wife. He was like Eli Manning. I said, "You're married to Eli Manning." <laughs> and then he showed me the picture of him in the drive-thru with Eli Manning. I'm like, I'm like, you fucking suck. Yeah, yeah, I believe that was a, a misspeak as well. <laughs> but marketability. You are in the one of the, if not the largest media capital in the universe in New York. A kid like Malik Willis would have pictures of him on buildings. And if he played well, it would be it would be that spark that giant fans have been looking for. It would be that guy. And I don't see Daniel Jones being that. He's not, he's not that guy, is he? And the thing is with like Malik Willis, right? So John Mara is big on culture. He's big on, you know, safe, not rocking the boat, mm-hmm. you know. But but personality-wise, in terms of, you know, his Christian background, his upbringing, he's a humble kid. Like, he's, he's not, he, not going to cause you issues like uh, a Baker Mayfield is going to. You know, he's not going to be throwing his toys out the pram. You know he's not going to bring any bad PR on on, no. on the organization. Like he's a, he's a safe he's a he's safe, safe pick off the field, pick. and he's an exciting a potentially exciting pick on the field. He won't rock the boat and he won't tip the boat over. It's good because we don't we have a bad history of boats. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat. Don't tip the boat over. He won't do that. 
I need at least 60 likes. Or my wife won't let me do this anymore. She just texted me that. Oh, my God. What does Raz got to say here? Shane. Shane and Dabler are not judged. Thank God. The fans' expectations are what we're tempering. The rest of the league knows the situation is shite. I agree. It is shite. It is. It's the hardest job in football this year. That's what she said. Sorry. Allie says, Jones fits the Dolphins' schemes of tanking. Of tanking, and Brian would have murdered someone if he had Jones. He might have. Flores, he might have. I don't, I don't think, think I don't think you'd have taken it too well. I think it's. Could you think of a? Uh, and I'm trying to go back and think, Tom. Could you think of a quarterback who has played as poorly as Daniel Jones has? At uh, let's go over the last ten years. Maybe we have to go back further. But can you think of a quarterback who's played as poorly as Daniel Jones has, and has not shown the development? Have this and much, have this job. much, this much patience with, with, um, with the, that the organization had this much, this much patience with the guy. I can't think I, I of quarterback. Think, I can't think of single one. I can think of I can't quarterbacks think of quarterback that haven't that's developed. gone into year four. That's gone into year four and has shown almost zero development. I can't. I can barely think of one that's done. I mean, Josh Rosen is the only one I can think of that's done no zero development. But what's he on his fifth, sixth team? But that's like, you know the teams have just moved him on. You know, uh, but we've stuck by him, and and not only have we stuck by him, we stuck by even him. Even the Jets started. moved on from Sam Darnold after three years. Yeah, Baker. I Baker, think there is one. There, Cleveland's moving on from Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield won the first playoff game in Cleveland in like twenty years. Yeah, not not you know not only that you've seen him improve by and large year on year. You know. Right. Um, you know, I, I'm not a big Baker fan, but Baker, there. Baker had there. an improvement from year three. Or so, so, I should say Baker had an improvement from year two to three. That's the year they made the playoffs and they won the playoff game. He tore his labium on his non-throwing shoulder in year four, which limited his ability to put velocity I on the ball. Say, technically, technically, he regressed last year, but I, I think he but regressed he still, through an injury rather than he still played 14 games with it. Yeah. He played 12 games with a tour with his tear in his non throwing shoulder. Exactly. And I was going to say, and that will have affected him, right? Like, you, you have to look at those stats in isolation and say, you know, there's, there's a legitimate reason behind the regression, those stats. And it was a one off year drop. Now that might continue, but I, I don't think it will. Um, you know, and I'm not a big Baker fan, but there's, there's no one that fits that bill. No. Thank God DJ doesn't play with players who wore leather helmets. They would run at defenders. He'd be knocked out of the NFL before you knew it. It was great. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, I just can't think of a quarterback who has who has been given so much leeway. So much, so many chances. When do the chances run out? If I if, if I had this many chances at work, I would have been sacked a long time ago, right? Yeah. Exactly. And I would think that'd be kind of weird at your job that someone's sacking you because you know, normally in the office, people don't tackle you, but Hey, I don't know. The poppy cockers, Lord knows what happens. Uh, yes. He was the, Oh yeah. Uh, he, uh, he was the voice of the parrot in Aladdin, Aladdin Gilbert Godfrey was, and he was, he, he had, he was battling an illness now for a couple of years now for like five, six years now too. Dom, if you, if you yawn one more time, I'm going to reach out and screen and rip your tongue out. You're going to uh, me. I'm going to, no, so I hit harder. Uh, yeah, I see five or six wins, Razzle. Not good. It's going to be a rough year. Yeah, it's crazy. Gilbert Godfrey was great. Gilbert Godfrey, yeah. Yeah, he was 67, they were saying. Gilbert Godfrey, the voice of Aladdin and the parrot. Thanks to you, Hakeem. How you doing, Hakeem? How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Razzle's a great poppy cocker. We gave him the pop. We gave Gilbert Godfrey the poppy cocker salute. Yeah, I'm well behind. Oh, yeah, he was also, uh, he was also in Lethal Weapon 2. He was the accountant in Lethal Weapon 2. No, he wasn't. It was no, he wasn't in Lethal Weapon too. He was the accountant in. Um, uh, he was Beverly Hills Cop too. He was the accountant, not in Lethal Weapon too. When Axel Foley tried to bribe him, pick a silly right tackle and draft nothing but defensive players the entire draft. No more offense. Yeah, we're not doing that. We got a right tackle, didn't we? OC found one. OC found one. We're all good. 
or he's going to go to Nigeria to get a tackle. Didn't Gilbert Godfrey start out? No, Gilbert Godfrey actually started out his career, and he's ta he talked about this on Howard Stern Show, uh, in strip clubs. And he said it was the worst audience he ever had. Because who goes to a strip club to see? Chardonnay's Sh Sh really upset. <laughs> I mean, uh, Eli was on ESPN commercials as well. You're right. Face of the franchise. Uh, best Manning commercial was his brothers on Sports Center. Yep, you're right. Thank God, DJ. Uh, I got to that one already. I, I was getting to that one. You just got to give me some time, people. <laughs> What's up, Emmanuel? How you doing, my friend? What's up, my family? What's up, my brother? How you doing? DJ, uh, we got Hakeem saying, no more, DJ. God, no. <laughs> Sports cars, who doesn't like Malik, says Malik's never made it in Auburn. Not sure he can make it. Ah, we're not even going to talk about that again because we've already explained it to you. Auburn didn't want him to be quarterback. He did not fit the Auburn system. He They wanted him to be wide receiver. He took a year off because he had so much belief in his talent to be a quarterback. Now they and, moved he, on. and he's going to be the number one quarterback this year. They moved on from Drew Locke real quick. <laughs> Drew Lock, they, I think they think, replaced him with Teddy Bridgewater for Christ's sake. Oh, I like this one. Malik Willis is wearing number one when he becomes a giant. I'm still going with. Gotta get to work. He's wearing Lock. thirteen. That's what you, yes, yes, he's yes, gonna yes. have the mojo. Come on, come on, he's wearing thirteen come on, because we all know name he's Willie really Steeman Beeman. Beeman. Tom, have you seen any given Sunday yet? I, I think I have actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm making sure. Let me get to the super chat here from Pandemonium. Yeah. Didn't uh, didn't forget Problem Child. Yes, he was in the movie Problem Child. Wow, he was with uh, John Ritter. <laughs> yeah, he was in that movie. Oh my God, Pandemonium took a w Pandemonium just went Pandemonium on my brain and took a way back. Oh my goodness gracious! What do we got here? Where is Poppy Cockers? All in our minds. All in my brain. It can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, what is I don't know what this is, but this is this. We'll call this you is, Bob. This, this is your this is European football. We'll call it Bob. Bob says, in my opinion, in the last three years, the best football player in the world is who? Robert Robert Robert, Robert Lewandowski. Lewandowski and Christian Ronaldo and Lionel. Someone and uh, not even in my first five. Uh, not even in my first five in the last three years. Sweet. You know, this is a football show, right? He's talking football, just a different kind. Yeah, but we don't run around in shorts. Well, Daniel Jones does, and he's the Messiah. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to give it for myself. He even has red shirts. <laughs> he, got red shirt. he wore a red shirt so no one would hit him. <laughs> Daniel Jones is running around in a circle throwing the ball. You know, oh, my God. <laughs> it just It just dawned on me, that video. Daniel Jones, him running around the middle of the field, running around with the camera in front of him, throwing the yeah. ball. It's Uncle Rico. It's Uncle Rico from Napoleon Dynamite. You have to go watch it now. Just, you know what? You know what, Dom? Right now, just Google Uncle Rico. Our Uncle Rico passing. Because <laughs> it'll come right up. It's, it's here. Oh, dear Lord. Uh... I've got Napoleon Dynamite, Uncle. I've got the preview, or do you want me to? Uh, let's just, go just, it should be just him passing the ball. Uh, that's, that's what this true. reminds me of with Daniel one. Jones. I think it's going to be this one. I'm watching it now. Hang on. He produced 54 million. I've got to watch an advert first, for Christ's sake. Oh, it's a long advert. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, God. Where the frick is Zach? <laughs> I he do it quick lab. enough. He got out of lab at four something. He's always at a lab by four, four thirty. He's putting a video in the tape. Is this going to be it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> Daniel Jones. <laughs> Daniel it's, Jones is now Uncle Rico. It's it's it, it, it's not Daniel Jones because he threw the ball quickly. But no, but that's the thing. That's what that reminds me of. Daniel just putting the camera in front of him. He's Uncle Rico. Oh, my God. No, uh, complete with the arm flex at the end. With the arm flex. Paul says, Tim, when do you uh, when you do your one mock draft in a couple weeks, can you please go through pick 36? Can we see? Yeah, we go through pick 36. I think we're going to do up to the second round. I think we're going to do the full first and second round because it's going to go pretty quick. So, so I think we'll probably do that. 
Well, let's see here. We're going to close this out. The only teams I pick would want it to be next year, the saints, if they're going to take quarterback, but of course the Eagles got the damn pick. That's the problem. We can't, we can't just hope. Oh my God. See uncle Rico. I have to post that on Twitter. Yes. John. Ritter I've away. not seen that clip before. That's amazing. Oh, it's, it's funny as hell. Uh, Malik Willis is the giants. Derek Jeter. He could be, he could be the face of the franchise. I even have a Derek Jeter uh, statue in my office because not because I like the Yankees, because I liked his professionalism. European football. Uh, Bob says European football fans are crazy. Throwing smoke torches, cursing cheerleaders, cheering in a really loud voice, sometimes going and beaten with fans from the opposing team compared to the common NBA fans. Evidently you've never been to Philadelphia. <laughs> Kyle Orton looks a lot like Uncle Rico. Well, you know who's Uncle Rico? Gardner Minshew. <laughs> no, really. They actually did, when during his rookie season, ESPN did a video with him and Uncle Rico because of the stash. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, there, I still have the words. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, goody. Oh, Lordy. All right, guys. We're getting ready to close this out. Oh, go Lordy. Go to Kyle Norton. Wait, we'll do these last ones. It all comes to an end. It's coming to an end because it's 6 o'clock. I wanted to get to 70 all, likes. All good things must come to an end. All good things must come to an end. Plus, my barbecue is here. Um, and, I'm, and I'm on the 0531 train tomorrow morning. Why is it always about you? Wine, wine, yeah. wine, wine, wine. Wine, 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 wine. Dom, close it out. Well... I've given this a lot of thought. Actually, I, I have one actually genuinely, and you touched on it earlier, one very serious thing to, 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 to say, because I haven't had a chance to say it. Uh, and that is to, to, to send, and I know they won't be watching, but my best wishes uh, to, to both Dwayne, uh, Haspin, <laughs> Dwayne Haskins uh, and his family and Gary Brown and his family with obviously their... Is this right, Gary Passing and running back Gary Brown? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, they won't be watching, but, uh, you know, our, our hearts go out to, to them. Uh, but, but but the other thing was, the, the, we t again touched on it earlier, it was a final four. O.C. Manure finding players for us. Like, absolutely great. I think really good program that he's reaching out for. Right. I, 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 uh, you know, commendable, cares about the Giants, compare, cares about the the NFL and, and reaching out to the international audience. I think that's it's a really, really good thing. I, I, I would just just say let's really temper expectation with these guys coming in it is so hard for them to do it when they haven't got the experience coming in but but to obviously you know great great stuff on the international front great stuff that you're finding opportunities for these kids um but but as fans let's not build them up to something they're not and yes I'll go and that's my final thought i'll go rico does remind me of kyle norton, kyle orton uh my I final just, I just, my, I final, that. my final thought is this we didn't hit 70 likes so i'm never doing a video again So you're back tomorrow, yeah? Oh, you'll be back tomorrow. Shh. That was that was to trick him to make. Them Sorry, was I not supposed to say that? That was to trick him to make him like more. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna sorry. be back. Not coming back. <laughs> I got three great videos lined up. I got three great videos lined up for tomorrow. Not tomorrow, guys, but for the for the next three days. Uh, don't forget, there will be. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for the hot water. Thank you, Jay. Hot water here, guys. Coming out at nine. <laughs> Love everybody knows my business. Uh, we also have Draft Wilson, the sauce. Um, let's see, uh, Neil Johnson, Kayvon Timoteau won't get past Jets. I agree, but you know what, guys? I appreciate you. Thank you. No video, uh, no video, no show on Sunday because it is Easter. So, Dom, have yourself a great night. Everyone, have yourself a great evening. Stay safe. We're at 69 likes. That means I'm quitting, never making a video again. Never going to happen. Never going to get it. 68 likes, 67 likes. Never going to get it. Shh, shut up. I'm tricking them. They can't, they can't hear me. 64 likes, 63 I'll just, likes. I'll just whisper. <laughs> They'll never hear me. That'd be fine. <laughs> it's always a good. Isn't it so, so great? With, it's so great when you're a kid, too. I'll just whisper. <laughs> no one, in a really, really loud voice. I know. I always love that. So we're not at 70. So I, I quit. I went in this morning uh, uh, just, to, just to see if my daughter was awake. And I put my head in. And she went, what? Oh, I'd, I'd nearly jumped. I thought she was fast asleep. Ron, Ron, <laughs> have yourself a good evening. Guys, we're out of here. I'm just joking. It'll be a new video tomorrow. I hope everyone has yourself a great uh, rest of the week. We will see you next Tuesday. Then the following that, we will have the big draft show. I also will be streaming a, uh, a, a Mets game coming up soon. So that'll be a lot of fun. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be interesting. And it's time to go. <laughs> we're out of here. Peace. Bye. Yeah.